I just fuck your bitch That's some Gucci flip flops Heart throb never Black and ugly as ever However, I stay Gucci down to the socks You get the bag and fumble it I get the bag and flip it and tumble it Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What up, y'all? again. Oh, man, we back. Oh, my God. We back. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. Look. <laughs> <laughs> now, Granny, <laughs> Granny gonna go crazy. For those of y'all who don't know, this right here, this is the layer. This is the coziest place on earth, and this is yes, Granny's sir. house. You yeah, know why we is. say this is Granny's house? Because- We here with the family. We here with the family. Y'all are our family. Yes. And, and we gotta- been, And y'all been sticking through- Everything. Through guys. everything. Because we've been going through a lot in these last uh, past 11 weeks. Oh, man. You hear me? No, it ain't been no oh, joke. It's, uh, There's been no joke. There's been a lot of crazy things happening. Now, look. I'm going to tell you this. A lot of Today, things we it's got somebody, man. It's one of the episodes. <laughs> we got somebody here, man, that y'all not going to believe because we get so many messages and DMs about this guy. Like, who, who is this guy? Who We see him every episode. Who is this guy? And I'm going to tell you who we got. We got Kareem Quo. Wells in let's the flesh. Let's give it. What up, God, man? Let's come on, man. Let's give it. Come on, man. Look. Y'all better quit flying. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. Oh, he, 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 look, he got his flip flops on. He ready. He got his flip flops on. And let me tell you that. something. <laughs> that damn coronavirus slowed down his, his order for his custom flip flops. And it, and it really, one day. Now, when it comes tomorrow, I should show them the, the delivery receipt. When it comes tomorrow and they say delivered tomorrow, I'm going to be like, you son of a. But I'm going to tell you this. We're going to toast because we got him here anyway. We're going to bring it down here. Bang. He done. Now, look. He don't, he don't, he don't do all that. But you gotta, you at, on this show, you always gotta toast. Oh well, well give me my, always give me my, give me my water. Have to, have have water. the toast. That H2O? green label deliciousness. Let's get it. That's Appreciate what I like to see, man. Through, yeah. man. And for y'all that know, and for y'all that don't know, mm. this is our sponsor. Mm. <laughs> what up? What up? What up? Mm. This is our sponsor. <sighs> and I'm gonna tell you this. Before we get into this. <sighs> This is going to be a great one today, man. Yeah, I can't, I'm, I'm, I can't I'm wait, grateful. bro. I'm grateful. I'm I can't grateful. wait. I'm okay. grateful. This is like, Very. man, this is like a, we, in le- we in the presence of, of legendary status. But before yes, we sir. get into all that, let's do the formalities. We got to pay the bills. This is, before we even pay the bills, let's go to the real formalities. This is the Flip Flops and Socks podcast, the coziest podcast in the game. I am your boy, Paris. I'm Tashambi. And I tell you what. Ooh wee. I tell you what. Ooh wee. I love going straight from that to paying Ooh-wee. the bills. I love Ooh-wee. it. It makes sense. I mean, it's only right. It, if you it handle literally business. literally makes sense. If you handle your business, handle all your business in one day. Come on, man. You handle it to. all at one time. Got to. And I tell you what, this guy. <laughs> 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 we got this guy as our sponsor. <laughs> and you know who he represent, the Quo Group. From storytelling to entertainment, music to philanthropy, the Quo theory of change reflects his overall belief and has become a way of life for Kareem Quo Wales. The K stands for Know Your Genius. The W stands for Work to Be Unstoppable. The O stands for Own Your Actions. And the E stands for Explore the World. Whether it's frontlining some of the most upscale events in Chicago or putting in thousands of hours of volunteer work and community service, the Quo Group is an essential part of Chicago's entertainment scene and beyond. And I'll tell you what, this man is a motivator. Hey. He's an innovator. Y'all know what it is. He's an entrepreneur. Oh, my God. And I'll tell you what, he's a vegan. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. healthy, man. He's a vegan, man. And, and look, look, all the way around that, you... There's no chink in his armor. So we're going to kick this guy, thing man. off real quick. And you just tell these people, who is Kareem Quo Wells? Man, listen, listen. First Where do you all, begin, right? First of all, <laughs> first of all, I'm your cousin. Oh, let's, man. Let's go, let's, uh, I'm just going to just that, call it what it is. Oh, oh, listen, oh, we, got, we, got we got cousins in the house. Our veins. That's Come on, what man. It is. That's and awesome, that's what I like man. to hear. I'm family first. Um, of but, course. But, but, no, but seriously, um, uh, I'm a spirit first, man. I'm a spirit, then I'm a human being, human being, and then I'm a color, a man, and all those things. So that's who I am. He's a spirit Before anything. first. Now you know, people always say certain things like, uh, "Oh, he got a he got a good he got a good vibe. He got he got good energy. The he aura got, is the on aura point. is is on point." <laughs> and he hit the first right in the center of all that. That's your spirit. Yep. Your your vibe comes yep. from your spirit. Your aura comes from that spirit. Your energy comes from that spirit. And he hit that because the thing is, if it ain't right, you can feel it. You can feel that. But you know what? Y'all know what's y'all know what's interesting. Talk to me. The way that the world works, they see you know my color first. Mm. 
And then they say, you know, since you black, you you can't be a human. Mm. And if I'm not a human, there's no way I can have a spirit, right? Mm. So the world really got it backwards, man. The world from is, the jump, is, is from the back. From, so the world, like, for how so long? the world was a gump from the jump. The world <laughs> Has was gump. gumps from the from jump. The goddamn jump. And I, I, I'm okay, okay. Now, <laughs> speaking of your blackness, speaking of how proud you are of your skin color because you described it as one of your many traits early on. And before we talked about even his, uh, we, it was so many basic things we could have got to, but he talked about the very important things. So I, I want to dive right into it because I see you do. Yeah. What do you think is the number one problem facing the black community at this current moment? Well, it's, well, since we got here, it was it was racism. I mean, it was it was racism out the gate, and it's been that ever since. Mm -hmm. And we, it just went down from there. You know what I mean? Like like people can look at you know like money and fame and the things that a lot of black people do have today in 2020, you know, they got success and money and all those things, but none of that means anything if people still see you as, you know, uh, see you as a, a, a nigga or- That they see you as, Right, they see True. that comes first. So it don't matter how much money you got. Michael Jordan is still black. At the end of the day, hey, I'm gonna say this. Still black. Let, Oprah's let, still black. Don't so. try to throw it off on them. Hey, coming from somebody with money, guys. <laughs> coming from somebody that came. When I'm talking about the, okay, look, what's lower than dirt? <laughs> what's what's what, what what's come down the, the the dirt and then this the, what is was this loam? Then this goddamn mag outer core, inner core, and magma. Then so we talk. Let's just say earth. between the middle earth. <laughs> the <laughs> middle <laughs> earth. So we talking between outer core and inner core. He's be, he's between that layer right there before that you thin, get that, that thin, thin layer right there. That's where he came from. I'm rich in spirit. I came from, listen, I'm rich in spirit. And that's all that matters. And that's all that matters. And I, you know, I came from Henry Horner Projects from the West Side Woo. of Chicago. So, mm, hold on, hold on. So, well, you know, well, like, well, just, can, we toast, can we toast to that? Now, look, hey, listen, we're not going to play about this 290. We're hey, not going to play about this. West side I mean, this is real. Our West. I'm about to leave my bottle right here. You can leave it, man. Look, put it over to the side. It's right side. Right on the side of your phone. Come on, man. This show is real. Look, the number one thing about this is coziness. You see the rug? The rug says cozy talk. Yeah, I'm definitely cozy in here. So make sure you stay cozy. Don't be reaching all out the way. We're going to get a mini, mini fridge for you next time. I right, got you. We're going to get a mini fridge for you. But like you said, you're so, from the west side. I'm from the west side of Chicago. Henry Horner, born in Henry Horner Projects. Mm. Lived in K-Town. Lived West Garfield Park. Lived on Hamlin and Fulton. Okay. Lincoln Pulaski. The whole area. Went to Orr High School. See, what's up? Um, <laughs> so I'm from... So, <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, that's high, high school. school. Yes, sir. Yes. That's what my heart. That's what my heart is at on the west side. I love I love the south side too, but the west side is where I'm from. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, like like I, I I've been through a lot, just like like most black people in America. You know, it's just hey, it's just, and, it's and just, it's keep, just getting up off your ass. He that's keep the talking difference. about this blackness. Now I'm gonna tell you this. Hey, this guy. I don't know. I know he did a couple of partnerships with a couple of people, but this guy has great skin. Do you see this guy <laughs> skiing here? This, hold on, I'm because I feel like I feel like they, they we gotta lower this. You're gonna have to lower this. Wait, wait. So we're gonna bring up this a little bit more. Right there, right, right there. there. Yeah, right, right there. there. No, I, I'll lean into it. All right, lean into it. Now you do. All right, yeah, bring it back here. Yeah, bring yeah, it back. We, yeah, we gotta lean into it, man. Because we That's gotta cool. see your face. That's cool. We have to see your face. You see how we we like to lean into it? Because I'm telling you, after after about. Four or five jokes, you're going to be down like this anyway. Double it over. But that's not what we on right now. What we on right now is talking the real. So, so, so the number one black, the number one problem the black community is facing is racism. Now, yeah. let me ask you this. Have you yourself encountered? Because, I, wait, before I say that, ask the question. I'm going to say this. It takes a lot to maneuver through some of the things that I've seen this guy maneuver through. Mm. Uh, I never, I never, I, I, I don't, I don't, one, one, I don't think checkers gets enough credit because everybody like it's always about chess. But I will say this: this guy does play chess. He's a chess player. He makes chess moves. And sometimes, when you make those sacrifices, people may look at you and say, "Do you? <laughs> what are you doing?" Oh yeah, like listen, you know, like when you think about what I do today in 2020, what I've been doing for the last. You know, 14 years. Which is? Uh, entertainment, interactive okay. entertainment, flow okay. entertainment, and just entrepreneurship. And that's part of the Quo Group? I was yes, just about to ask, where's Flow, flow, flow Entertainment? Flow Entertainment is, is, is underneath the umbrella of the Quo Group. The, un um, the so, umbrella. 
Oh, wait, so, hold on. You're not just going to gloss over that. The <laughs> umbrella. The corporation umbrella is what I'm saying. <laughs> but go ahead. Carry yeah, on. Yeah, and so Flow Entertainment is an interactive entertainment company. We specialize in bar and bar mitzvahs. Okay. Mm. High-end corporate parties. Okay. Sweet 16s. We do just some of the biggest parties in the city and out of the city and out of the country, too. Okay, so you said bar and bot mitzvahs. What, what, what's the Jewish difference? people. We're, we're, we're Jewish people. I, well, we rock okay. a lot of events for 13-year-old Boys and thirteen-year-old girls. Okay, uh, so it's part of the Jewish, Jewish, Jewish tradition. Okay, tradition. okay so yeah. it's the difference is boy and girls bar and bot. Is yeah. that the difference? The, for a boy, it's a bar mitzvah. And for a girl, it's a bot mitzvah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a coming of age. Yeah. Yeah, it's a coming of age. Coming of age. Of age. Okay, becoming a man yeah. and coming a woman. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Okay. We don't, we don't have those. Uh, no, we don't. I, I, listen, I want to bring that to the table for us. We got, we got, we got, we got to start celebrating, start celebrating our young, young men and young women. Okay. For, for accomplishing becoming a man and becoming a woman. The truth is, when you hit that teen, that thirteen, that's that age where it gets kind of rough out there in the streets, and you start making some, some. You got to start making some real decisions. Real decisions. At that age, and that's just the truth. Especially, and that's even if you go ahead, go ahead. Especially in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just about to go there. When I started selling drugs, when I was when I was a kid, I started selling drugs, you know, 14, 15, and really ended at 16 year old, 16 year years of age. So I know what it's like to be out there. I know what it's like that mm. pressure and being a black, you know, a black kid. So you said you was UGK pocket full of stones. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I gotta put that out there. Oh yeah, man. Come that, on, man. Don't let the smooth taste look, fool so you. Crazy, that's what I did, man. You can I, overcome all those things. All man. those things. First of all, oh yeah, and more. Okay, but carry on, carry on. Okay. So, you know, being from being from, you know, where I was from, from the West Side, you know, there was people who I really uh looked up to. And those guys were neighborhood guys. You know, they were guys that were in the streets, you know. Are when these I, guys that you that you that would have been if they were informed, they would have thrown you a bar mitzvah for boys, right? Uh I think those guys would have if they knew that that type of thing existed cuz I didn't know that thing existed that many, you know, 14 15 years ago. I didn't I know, know it. And then you go back, you know, Shocking. some more years I I did not know that that was something that even existed. So being out there in the streets, those were guys that that taught me about the streets, taught me how to survive, taught me what you know what loyalty was. Oh, that was by Mitchell right there. That, yeah, so, you know, once, so once that money came, that's when that's when that's so, when okay, so wait, that's so that's wait, that so by So wait. <laughs> so, wait. so now, 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 now. I wanna I wanna put this first in the atmosphere because we have so many young bucks coming up that could use this type of this this type of celebration right now. So you heard it here first, Foot Five and Size Podcast, the Black Bar Mitzvah. Oh yeah, bar mitzvah. the Black Bar Mitzvah. Black bar mitzvah. Off right now. Yeah, yeah. That's, and that, and when you gonna, look up, like if you Google right now, if I Google on my phone, I'm gonna Mitzvah. It. Go ahead. Mitzvah, I want you to read it. Like I'm gonna it, read it, it out says loud. A, a good deed do from religious duties, you know. And so the work I've been doing in the communities was a, a good, good deed. deed done from religious <laughs> done from duty. religious duties. This is the, that's, that's the truth. Fact. He knew it. He so, already had it. So when you think of that word, you know what I mean. And I've been giving back to the communities, you know, giving back to the West Side. I went from like going to the different partnering with different community centers to just inspire. I've been speaking at all the schools from grade schools to high schools and really just going back and giving back, you know, to make up for all the things that I did in the past. The things that I did in the street. I sold drugs to, to pregnant women, to relatives, to just whoever. I just didn't have a clue on what I really was doing. I was, it was really just me trying to survive and have some. I thought that was the only options I had. The only option, yep. I thought it was the only options I had. So for me, I, I always had the mindset I wanted something. So Chief, so may he rest in peace. He's someone that lost his life later in, in the game. But he was somebody that taught me how to do it. But he also showed me love as a black man. He showed me love by telling me this is not for me. Mm. He, he gave me so enough. So he was trying to get you out the game. Get me out the game. He was yeah. like, man, he saw what I was going and with. This like, was just at my a young mindset. age. My mindset was on, on I got to make money. You know, to sit at the table and you got kilos in your face and you trying to you know, just come up and, and make money. Okay, so let me let me ask you a real a real question that a Shit. lot of a lot of young people and a lot of not even young people, older people, even whatever age you are, what made you listen? Well, because like, they he was like, he ready. He was hold on, I don't mean to cut you off because yeah. he already we have these conversations. Go ahead. A lot of the times when you coming up, you feel as if like you already know what the fuck is going on. Yep. You yep. You feel yep. like. You already a man. Yep. And the fact that you stood back and was like, you know what? I'm going to listen. What is that thing that triggered you? What I need to happened. know because <laughs> well, I was a hard-hitting well, mother. Well, 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 but think about this, though. Like, think about this. You know, growing up in a... I don't, I don't know how y'all... I mean, I know how yo, your your household was with your, with your mother. Yep. But I don't know how yo, if you had your mother and your father under one roof. But growing up in a single-parent home and it was just my mother. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, a, you know, a black, strong black woman that's trying to teach... 
a, a, a black boy how to be a man, you know? And I didn't have that by my father never being in my life. And I do mean never. I my father is no longer living, I but he relate. was never in my life like that. Uh, to where I could remember, you know? He just, he just wasn't. And so when you have your mother, you know, telling you what to do, that's your mother. You know, that's like, that's mama. Like, that's somebody I love unconditionally, who loves me unconditionally. About that. So, But to hear that from my mother, I didn't understand it, so I turned to the streets. You know what I mean? My older brother, he was, he was, you know, we're, we're, you know, some years apart, but he wasn't, he, he was suffering from the same things I was suffering from. We had the same father and same mother. So not, you know, he didn't, it wasn't, what I, what I learned from him was just how to be tougher. He was, he was trying to lead the best way he could. The best way brother. he could. My older brother was leaving my brother, my brother, DJ Boo Man. You know what I mean? Okay. 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 I was just going to ask, who was the, he, who was this brother so, that so, got you to this point? Cause my older brother got me to this point. We shot him out all the time. So, so for me, it was, it was, it was really chief because i because my brother well he was he was hanging out in different places my older okay. brother was hanging out in different places and i was the younger one okay so i stayed in the, stayed around the neighborhood okay my so once he taught downtown, you how to be do, tough you was off you was doing your thing he jumped yeah, he 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 out the place yeah, he's, <laughs> he's going uh, he was going dancing at the riviera with you know with, with friends and stuff like yeah, that yeah, i stayed yeah. back home i was really a mama's boy okay but at some point, you got to go outside you got to leave that nest yeah and when you go outside you're meeting certain people so i, I met a guy by the name of by, by the name of uh, Chief Marshall Hill and um, Junior, and he was somebody that that I looked up to. I just started seeing like, man, he driving a car. He get you know, he cool. He always got on slick clothes. So I was always like, yo, I got to, I, you know, working at I Burger King. Working at Burger King wasn't it? You know what I'm saying? Wait, like, hold on, hold on, hold like on, hold on Madison and so, Pulaski, that Burger King. Oh, right wait, over wait. There. so you worked at the worst Burger King? <laughs> yeah, the worst one it was. That was the only Burger King that was over there at the time. Oh and what's my funny God. is. I would have to walk through the neighborhood to go to that Burger King. So I would walk through Hamlin, you know, Avis yeah, yeah. and Lake Street, go yeah, yeah. through Pulaski, right down walked, the So you was walking through what I was at. With the Burger King outfit on. And ain't nothing wrong with that. And, ain't that, and that, that show, so, okay, go ahead. Hold go on, ahead. but I wasn't even old enough to work. I use my brother information. <laughs> so your brother, listen, DJ listen, Boomer, uh, comes through listen, again. Comes through again. <laughs> listen, Burger shout King, so, out the so, Boomer. So, so my, DJ mindset, Boomer. my mindset was on, I got to work. Even okay. when I wasn't old enough to work. So okay. I forged the birth certificate. I did all this stuff to get to, so that I can get a job at Burger King just to make a little money. That's and crazy. I had to okay. walk through the neighborhood with that Burger King outfit on and that high top fade. And so I got cats that stand on the corner. They like, hey, where you going? I was like, oh, yeah, bring me back a Whopper and cheese and blah, blah. So you start hearing that. And you a teenager. You a kid. Mm -hmm. You don't you know that. Some type what you're really doing is the right way. I was really doing and the right way. And I was just going to say, look at the – before people say, well, my only option was selling drugs. This man, first of all, was Leonardo DiCaprio in Catch Me If You Can. Right. He was a forager first. <laughs> he first was off, a you had to start out there. A, hold on, you started off as a forager. That was his first listen. job. <laughs> hey, it's true. I to, did it. To get a job, a minimum wage job, yeah. all of this before. He was even right. Before he age. even said, be, a, a ripe age and before he said, well, I'm going to just do drugs. Cause that was the first thing. That's the first Whew. cop out. That's the first cop out. That's the first. That's a cop out. That's, that's a cop but out. But then I fell to like you know going to school. You know, and, and if you know or 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 high oh, school. I know it very well. Oh yeah, very well. It was both guys. You had to be t you had to be tough yeah, yeah. in there. You had to have some tough skin. I had tough skin. But you know, at some point, people right, talking so. about your shoes, talking about my clothes because I was wearing the same clothes. They was clean. I kept my stuff clean. Right. But it, I didn't have the, I didn't have the Jordans on. I didn't have all the nice things. So I'm in there like. You know, like I'm trying to get through. Just, I'm just hey, trying to hey, make I'm it just, through. Hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even make mention of these 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 Jordans because he got his flip flops on now. Hey, yo, these Jordans that he came, these mics he came in here with. I'm not gonna say it. We're gonna talk the behind. Check the behind the scene footage on his page at <laughs> KWOE. Just add him. <laughs> hey, he, 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 he trust me. These joints is gonna be on his page. I already know. I already know. But so, carry on. I'm sorry. So for me, not so having for me, the pressure. It, it, was, it was that that pressure, man. Mm. That pressure from my own people. You know what I'm saying? But that pressure right, that comes, but, but that's a part of how we are. You, we, we, we tough people. We strong. So you had to be tough. Wait, wait. To I don't mean. To, to I promise school. I don't mean to cut you off again. But when you, that was important that you said the pressure from our own people. Oh yeah. Now, does that make you want to go get it even more, or it's like I'm only going to get it because I'm being not not so much being being taunted, but it's just. I got like, a question. If it was I'm white, if, if it was a white, if it was white people, yeah. that was that was, say you went to all white school and they was torturing you. I mean, t t t like tormenting you about. Like, you yeah. know, roasting your they ass. They call it like, bullying now, but yeah, I call yeah. it riding. Yeah, you know kicking <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn, goddamn. Jones. Heating your ass, yeah, goddamn. Yeah, got Kicking it to your flaming ass. Your flaming ass. your ass. Flaming your ass now. But I'm going to say this. So if it was, would it have mattered? What, did it hurt more that it came from your own people? Mm. Um, 
It hurt that it came from my, my own people. It hurt that it came from anybody. You as a kid, right? As a kid, okay. you, ain't, you okay. ain't thinking about black, white. As a kid, you think, I'm that's, thinking, that's so the, the color I'm thinking about at that age is green. Yep. When people ride me about my clothes and, and ride me, I'm thinking about, man, I got to get I gotta get my bread that's up. That's a fact. So I can, you know, talk to girls, so I can look smooth, look slick, but I could dance. See, that's what I had working in my favor. I could dance. Okay, okay. I ain't had the best clothes. Mm-hmm. I ain't had a lot, but I could dance, though. The footwork was crazy. Hey, he would have been on the... So, trying to make it. So, he from the era so where it was going crazy. Hit, bro, so my foot, footwork was crazy. Okay. But I, but I wanted to look good. Mm-hmm. I wanted to look good and feel good about myself. Yep. It wasn't that... That was I major took key. What, what people was doing. That was natural to me. In, my, in our household, we had people... It was like walking into Deaf Comedy Jam in my family. <laughs> you come to a family gathering, you know what it is. Anything's liable to be said. So I had tough skin from that. But it's like, yo, when you when you're 14, 15 years old, man, you want some like, man, I don't know if I'm tall enough, if I'm Facts. strong enough, yep. if I'm, you, ain't, you ain't got it all figured out yet. So that pressure it got to me, cool. but it made me want to go hustle. And I ain't talking even in the street yet. It made me want to go get money. Get real money. Yeah, it wasn't even about money. being yep. in the streets. Then I start noticing with that walking with that Burger King outfit on, going every day and people cracking jokes, bring me back a Whopper with cheese, no <laughs> onions and no mayo. That's you know what I'm saying? Jokes. And I'm seeing these cats that's the same age as me. And they making, they got on the latest Jordans, they got on the latest this, and I'm like, they be like, you two could be, oh, you know, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. So by chance, one day, I see my guy Chief, he throw- Wait, 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 wait. This is, <laughs> is Chief still here or no? No, Chief, Chief I, is I, no I, longer. I thought he I heard you say that earlier. Years, man. He been gone for a while. Okay, I thought I heard you say that earlier. Okay, yeah. R.I.P. Chief. Let's yeah. let's let's, let's oh, do yeah. one. Let's do R. R. one. R.I.P. Chief. Chief. Let's yes, put that out for Chief. 100%. Yes, sir. Put that Chief real quick. Yeah. But let me say this. Before you get, because I can tell this been a, that now when he said walking, one day I was walking. Now I feel like this is where the change is coming. But before we get to that, I want to say something. When you said you was walking in the hood, you thought you too can be fly. I'm going to say something. Oh, yeah. Because, mm-hmm. well, wait no more. <laughs> wait no more, because cause you too can be fly. Can be fly, because. And I'll tell you what, it's a lot, because you, 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 uh, Got for Kareem Quo Wills. Yes, sir. It oh. means a lot that you came through, man. Yes, sir, man. Because you always seem to come through, man. Oh, and man. I want you to. Uh, what to, y'all doing here, man? Th- this this is man, look, y'all check, check, check it out, man. Let me let me move this back so you can okay, so you can really so you can really do that. And I'm and as as he do that, as he opens that, he's gonna talk about flipflopsocks.com. Yes, sir. And look, you thought I was going no. <laughs> Right this there. Is, this is so crazy. Oh, he got it too fast. He got it too Flip-flop fast. Flipflopsocks.com. Get your 10% off for all your uh, yeah. summer and Top spring uh, apparel. <laughs> apparel. Y'all got the tape on there. Nah, that, put that it was, tape. It was on lockdown. Man, we Y'all need it on lockdown because this is very... Hold on. Unveil that. Unveil that. Oh, Unveil yeah. this right oh, here. Oh, so this, this is like the host of... Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Let me see. You got to go this way, this way. This goes around the back. Yep. Oh, right, right. Just like that. Just like that, yep. Over the back, right? Yep, just like that. Just like a real host Pocket, yeah, you in the game. Okay. Now look, now hold on. On the side here, it has oh, his signature. It. He don't know. We we live out of Caprio too. Oh, we boys too, baby. <laughs> we are we go crazy. Catch me if you oh, can. Man. And now on I'm the right finished. side, on the right side, we have one of his most favorite things. Oh yeah. Come on now, look at that like fist. That. Black lies. Can we all like throw the fist up one time? Can like everybody like just throw the fist up? That's what I'm talking about. Now that's a that's a beautiful moment right there. That fist perfect. Oh man! Now bring them on back in there. I'm gonna leave you right there. Oh, and we just want to say thank y'all, man, for oh, man, having me. Oh you, man, man the, for coming the out. Gift. I really mean that. Cause man, I appreciate look. it. Let me tell you this something. Go ahead, man. You carry on. Man. We just want to make, because we know we can tell that the, the heart, I thought it was the, I was going to wait, but the moment was, he's like, I've never, never been fresh. Like, <laughs> I just always wanted to be the, and look at you now. Yeah, listen, I appreciate this. So one day, this is, you, this is where the turn comes in, ladies and gentlemen. So one day. So one day, you know, I'm uh, walking down the street. I, I saw a guy, Chief. I, you know, I, I, he looked familiar. You know, I didn't really mm-hmm. know him yet. And I, he threw a bag into the bushes. I saw him throw the bag. He's running from the cop through the bag. Me being, you know, a teenager, being, you know, 14, 15 years old, Shit. I'm like, yo, like, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? I need you know to what I'm know. Like, like, what's in let, the bag? Let's keep it I need to know. Like, what's in the bag? So I, I grabbed a bag, ran into the crib. We had a little, little attic up in the building, a little two-bedroom apartment we lived in. Okay. I ran up there, opened the bag. Man, rolls and rolls of cash. It was these bundles of aluminum foil, big bundles. Oh, man. Opened it up. Hood and then it was a small, these small little packets. And I ain't know, you know what I'm saying, at the it time. Be you want in the game. It it's, should this should be, be a, a at, at the time, I, I ain't know I want the rights to the script. You know what I mean? The, the, so, the, you ain't know what, you didn't know what the packets were. I didn't were. know what was in, in the pack. Because you was a Burger King guy. You yeah, was a burger I, flipping. I didn't really know 
what that was. Okay. I knew about weed, you know okay. what I'm saying? But I didn't know about. Oh, this you was know, the next was level. That. Oh, this right. was the, this was this was right. And so I, I take it to my auntie Gail. Up. I took it to my auntie Gail and, and showed her the pack and said, "Man, I found it, auntie. What's this?" She grabbed it. She like, "Boy." That's heroin. Oh, it was Them that boy. It wasn't that girl. It wasn't that girl. It was that boy. 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 Right, it was that boy. And I was like, she was like, you don't know what that? I was like, no. Nah. She was like, that's heroin. You know, breaking it down to me. She's like, where you get that from? I was like, I found it and I'm about to go throw it away. Okay. Like that. So I run back up to the attic. I'm like, man. And I'm looking at all the money. I mean, rolls of money. Like, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like... Man, what I'm gonna do with this is you know, I'm gonna spend it. Drugs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She, no, she telling me it's drugs, so I'm like, yo, I, oh, yeah, oh, I gotta yeah, it's get deeper, it back to deeper. where it came right, from. Cause it's deeper Cause than I'm, me. It's deeper than what I knew. Cause I had she didn't know yep. how much I had, and it was a, I'm talking about a, a you just mini showed duffel bag. Showed okay, that you just showed her what he thought that was outside. Yep, get the information. Get that out of here, boy. Right, it was like that. But it's like, oh well, if this, so I'm going to go look for cheap. I'm like, I'm looking for him. I'm trying to find out, you know, like what's up, like. You know, for real, like, what am I, you know. He was the guy who threw it. Yes. Okay. So okay. I'm thinking, if I got this bag, what if somebody saw me grab that bag? That's a fact. So now I'm panicking. Because, he, you know, he ran from the college. See, this is chess. This is chess at a young so age. Now, so now I'm like, I, I got to go shit. find him. Shit. So I had been looking for him for a couple days. You know, it's hot summertime. The, up in that little attic. It was like it was like a, a dark, uh, uh, scary attic. You know what I mean? It was, like oh, it was, one, of them, it was one of them the spider webs. Yeah, and, yeah. And so a lot of people don't know this. You know, you had to, you had to keep keep that specific drug cool you had to keep it cool by being up there mm -hmm. it's it's it was sweating yeah mm -hmm. it was Ooh. sweating so now you know now so now one day wet. i saw happen to bump into him i run up to him i'm like man i got some of yours and he looking at me like shorty like what's up like you know like what's i'm like man i i left i found something of yours so wait 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 you the way you was just looking like when you ran up on him he ain't like that no because i ran up on him i was like Hey man, I got something for you. He looked at me like I would have been like, "Oh, what's going on with me?" Right, right. And Who's so I get that back up. Right, right. So he was, he was like, "Come on." He was, I was like, "Come on, man. I got something I want to show you." And then he like, he like, "Show me." <laughs> Come what? on, exactly. Show me right here. Hey, hey, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Cause I, I wasn't even in the in the mindset of like I'm saying something wrong to him. Mm. But he looking at me like. You said everything, everything wrong right, right now. Right. Everything, right. What, everything you said yeah, to me right now like is that. wrong. Everything you said right now, you don't like, even know. He was like, "What did you own?" And I'm like, "Dude, I'm trying to show you." I'm like, "Call me." Then he like, "All right, shorty. All right, shorty. What's up?" I'm like, "I live right." And he's like, "Man, we yeah, I know who you is. We call you High Top." So, so check this yeah, out. I already knew. I didn't really because know his name, but he's like, "We call you High Top because I had a High Top." <laughs> <laughs> So, Something that they so would he, had a, to. he had a kid from Kid Play. Yeah, I had a kid play. I had a kid play. On. The original kid. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no, so hey, he kid like, was flat all over. And then what's so crazy? They brought it back around. They brought yeah, it back. So, 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 listen. So he, I tell him to come with me, man. Come to this building. Come with me. And he like, okay, you live on the corner. Yeah, right. okay, I know. I know. You call you high time. Right. He's like, I was like, man, you gotta come up to the. Asshole. He was like, shorty. What's the really going? He's like, like what's really? He started to trust you for a minute. He started to trust you for a minute. He's like, come on, man. You know me. And, and, and at that time, man, I pr I probably weighed about. You know, ninety eight cent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ninety eight cent. So he what? probably was. He probably was contemplating like, if anything happened, I probably could skinny, get out of this. No, no facial hair. No looking like a baby. You know what I'm saying? I probably look. But those the him. ones who told Shami. Them the ones who told though, bro. I look like I look, look like about, that. R.I.P. Yummy. I look like I was about nine years old. So he, he's like, all right, sure, come on. Like, he's come on. I was like, so I, I give him the bag. I'm like, man, I got some. This yours. Hand him the bag. And he was like. Did you touch that bag? Did he said he said he said you touch anything? Oh, he had beers and smoke. Look, I was like, <laughs> yeah, Nigga. yeah, just I, I touched just it. Just I was one. like, I touched it, but I ain't touch none of the money. I ain't take. I ain't spend none of your money. Okay, I okay. took a bag out just to see what it was. He's like, you didn't know what this was. I was like, nah. Like I was like, nah, man. My auntie told me. So I so he was right. like, and you ain't touched nothing. He, he opened it. Open bag, he he like look he went for the money because I mean come like, on man. listen he had listen. already counted up as an L anyway he, he had already L. counted up as a loss and so and so when you think about it like when I even go back in my head when he was driving his car hopped out and ran his car fell into on Lake Street he was on ha Hamlin Infamous making Lake, the right yeah. on Lake God Street damn Lake and his car you know, went into the 
the pillar. You know, they building those. They were rebuilding the yeah, pillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, so yeah. they dug out holes around. Right. It. So when he bent the corner, his car. It's the first time. Right into the ditch. First time. Yeah. And, and the tires went like this. That's the first time I ever saw a car <laughs> when the like tires went like that, but like they were still attached. It, but they were like this. So, so he axle broke off so his car. That was flashing back in my head. That's why he was running from the police. That's why he was, you know what right. I'm saying? Because like, oh, you never knew why he even threw it. You was just like, what the? No, no, no. I saw him. T- I saw the police. Right, saw right. Oh, okay, but you run. never knew. That. I knew he took, but I didn't know why. The, like, you didn't I know didn't, the situation. Because I was still young and naive. Naive. Dog. Like, like, I didn't have, right. The streets hadn't raised me yet. You was you a baby bird. You was a baby bird. was a baby bird. trying to be fair. trying to be fair. That's a baby bird. That's a baby bird. Yeah. So now, so he get the bag, he open it up, realizing I ain't touching nothing. I'm like, yo, G, I ain't touch nothing. Like, look, I don't, so my man go like this. This one, I knew it was real. This is the change you was talking about. Pull it out, uh. $1,500, I had never seen no money like that in my life. Wow. I had never seen, you weren't even making that. I had never seen that much money in that bag, and believe me, I wanted to spend it. Believe me, I wanted to spend but every minute, but I knew. The fact that you played that mode my, of. me floating. Somebody probably saw me touch this bag, touch the bag. and they know where I Somebody, live at. Oh, that's they chess, know man. That's, that's chess. Because you think yeah. it's bigger than you. You, you already knew it's bigger than that's you. That's chess. He, took, he knew it was a risky when he got sa- that bag. The sacrifice was no. was not spending it. That was the sac- was not doing doing whoever it was dirty. The fact that regardless of if he thought, well, maybe somebody saw me, or maybe the sacrifice that he, he I wouldn't give a damn if yet who saw me. We going shopping. <laughs> no, no. We going and shopping. I ain't, had, I ain't have much. You know what I'm saying? For, exactly. For somebody who didn't have much. Considering I, I didn't have much. But I got, I, I was looking down are you, at are this. You, are you, they don't look. Got, I'm that's going to be on the website, too. Y'all, y'all see how they do it. At oh, my flops. gosh. So now, that's, better, a, that's a custom. Y'all snakes, we're here. not going to get into all that. I like we this. I like keep all my belongings in there. I like that. Oh, but, my uh, God. No, so, I, I really... Realized like man, this was really him and the money. I was like this. No man, I don't want it because I was on this. I was on. He handed me fifteen hundred, saying this is you, shorty, for night because you could. And I was like, nah, dude, I'm good because I ain't want no to... parts of what <laughs> right. I just learned. Right, you know what I'm saying? right. So, but then, then he was like, no, nah, shorty, that's yours. Take it. He was like, no, nah, and he was real. He he talked like this. He's like, yeah, man. No, just he mumbled. He, he right. sound like he sound like Bernie Mac and Cedric Entertainment. Oh, so, like, <laughs> so he was the OG. Yeah, he's an OG. Okay, so okay, okay, like, okay, okay. He was okay. like, man, like he's like Chi. Yeah, he was like, nah, take this, and I was like, all right. After a while, you got to tell. <laughs> right. you know, hey, dang, I'll turn down the mic. When you see a person sincere, it's like, he look, sure, this is yours. Like, no, nah, he was sincere like that. This it, yours. Yeah, it, and it wasn't no, no, like you know what I'm saying. He trying to come at me, up, right? But That's then he real. said these words. He said some real words, man. He said. Like, and this was when the click, it's just that that moment. He said, hey, shorty, you 100. He was like, I got something for you. Come see me. You want a job? Come see me. So think about so think about and that. And that's when so he what knew. So what, what, what does Burger King fit into this equation? He Burger King, that's the equation. He it took, peeled it off that me, road. 1500 it take me three months to make 1500 Man, look. You know look, what I'm saying? Like, look. like so 1500 to me was like like crazy. Then Man, you making I made that decision. Weeks? It was like, Damn. it was like, I'm tired of working. They, they robbing the Burger King sticking the Burger King <laughs> I was up. I like, you at the worst one. Sticking the Burger King up. And I'm like, nah, I can't. That's so I, crazy. I go holler. I go holler, put me on. I had never seen that type of money in my life. That's how I got into selling drugs, just like that. And my first day out, oh I was my. nervous, Ned. Nervous, Ned, man. Listen to me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to serve, you know, Rock Blows Park, that whole thing. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> blow, blow. right, Rock Blows, you know. And the, the, the detectives was coming, right. But they were just creeping up. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't even like they was like. Urgh! They was like. Right. They was just driving. Honestly, I panicked. Drop my packs down the sewer, <laughs> like three, four packs down the sewer, and run. <laughs> you wait, wait. Did you have to pay that back? Well, I was like, what did no, no, say? No, no. Oh, no. So all I did what was this. Say? It was just drive. They just drove past me, and then Chiefdom was like, you threw it down there? Why? <laughs> they, you, ain't nobody, they wasn't even up on you? Like, like why? I was like, man, I was nervous. They took the cap off the sewer. God, they got Boom. the tools. <laughs> Do that. down by my feet. And I could see, and they, 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 they dropped two in head first. Yeah, head <laughs> Wait, it wasn't no was water in there or nothing. No, it wasn't, and it was right on top. It was, it was like one of the catch drains, the catch drains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, so we grabbed. I grabbed the three packs. Out, uh, and that was it. Oh, uh, I thought it was dirty too. No, listen. So I, I really realized at that moment, I was like, now nah, I got to be slicker than this. Okay. I got to figure out. So Trial I started putting error. stuff inside of 
capsule, uh, 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 pills that you get your pills in. So I start putting them in there, uh, dug a hole in the ground, stuck it down the ground, put dirt on them. When somebody need, I run and go get it and come back. Facts. So I start doing, I start, I start learning like different those ways. type of different ways to do it. And and when you when you start making, you know, the type of money we was making, like it, it ain't like now. Like now it's for Instagram likes on a lot of dead, cases. And dead money. It's, it, right. It's, 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 it's not it's even a different, no point. Dead money. It's a different thing from just talking to some young kid, young cats that I've been talking to. Um, for me. I really realized, like, yo, I'm making three, four thousand dollars a week. This my thing. How you felt when you got that money that night? You went to bed and you woke up like, ooh. <laughs> I know. Hey, look, look, we gotta ask these because we want my the story. Like, literally, when you <laughs> woke up that next how day, it is, like, man. um, I woke up. Or even like, uh, later on that day, like when you, you got, gotta, even when that conversation whole, was over, like, like when yeah, when you left. Cause they, that's what they want to know. Man. When you left, how was you feeling with that with as a 15, young buck? Oh no, when I got that thirteen. When I got that fifteen hundred, I thought I was rich. I like listen. I, I really felt like right I was now. rich. A stimulus check. People get four hundred. People got stimulus like they don't know nobody. <laughs> Nigga, they I don't owe you nothing. I got four hundred dollars. I don't owe four hundred dollars in twenty. They had that. I never asked. I never asked nobody, never for, nothing. Asked nobody <laughs> for nothing. Back to the wall. It was all me. No, no. I, I, I really felt like like I had like I was on top of the world, man. Like I did thirteen. Uh, and, and to get it like that, and and, and I, I snuck a little money to my mother, like in my mother's drawers and stuff. I did like you know stuff I was buying. felt like but the goddamn nothing, man. I didn't, I didn't know nothing about. Uh, I didn't really know nothing about no bank account or right. checking account or none of that kind of stuff. I was just keeping my money like in a shoebox, like like people say on, in your matches in your drawer. I was doing that, and I just felt rich. I, I remember I remember going shopping on Madison. It wasn't tops and bottoms. It was the, it was that mall right there. Like that you go down the flea market. Of course, the flea market. You go downstairs. You go downstairs. To the I flea wish market. everybody out west know what's going on. Like that flea market. You, you go, go downstairs in the Asian and the man with the stick. He got the stick to get it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, let me get that. And I got outfits. I had the diaper pants and you know like, uh, the MC Hammer joints. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the crazy thing is like you thirteen, bro. And you got yeah. a bankroll. But I'm yeah. a, I'm, I'm a you got people older than ten years older than you. They ain't never seen fifteen hundred. But, back but, but you know what, fellas? Like the the part that's crazy, man. As I continue and and, and grew into it, you know, like with by the time you know I'm 16 now, uh, school is not important, so I get kicked out of school mm -hmm. for selling drugs and not you know not showing teachers like he, he he's smart, but he 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 don't come. That he don't money, come. right? And it was like I had I'm being as real as I can, and that's something that I, I do with even the youth when I'm out speaking to the youth. I talk to them straight up. I really didn't like school. Mm. And I felt like I had the right to say that. Mm. I had the right, my Ooh. own right to say I don't like school. Like, like no matter how I slice the cake, like you can say, okay, go down and learn that history, which we know okay. today that history was a lie. So, well, so, so I you saved school, yourself. Go ahead. So I went to school uh, uh, to learn what? Well, like when I think about it, school is important for those that like school. If you don't like school, you have to find something that you are good at. You have mm -hmm. to find something you're passionate yep, about. Trade or something. Yeah. I didn't know what that really was. I knew I loved music though. Like music was something that I loved. Mm. I Loved, I had a love for music and dancing. But school, it was like a place I went to to be tormented. It was a place I went to. Mm. But the truth is, everybody in the neighborhood was broke. The truth is, everybody in that in that school everybody was, was really there. poor. And that's the truth. But when you were a kid, you you know, that pressure, you hearing that 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 talk from everybody, you're like, yo, I got to get something. I got to have something. Mm -hmm. I want something out of life. So I did what I thought I had to do because I didn't believe I had any options. Mm -hmm. And that's a big difference. So it is. now... I, I'm making that type of money. And you see the difference. Pocket. I got that type of money in my pocket. Who, who gonna stop me, huh? <laughs> That's a fact. Like, and then you got, and then you got this. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't a popular kid. I wasn't, true, true. but I got the popular family behind me. I got the popular cats in the streets. I got the cats that 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 let me know they'll die for me. And keeping it real with y'all, during that gen my generation, it was cats that really would die for you. Yep, that's that a really fact. would protect you with all they could. And Chief was one of those now. guys. And he showed, Chief, Chief, Chief I'm sorry. showed me enough. There you go. They, Chief, I, I had something I want to ask about Chief. I'm sorry. Yeah, not as cool. I want to say this. It was something important that I that I kind of let that I kind of it slipped by over this whole the course of you telling this story. And I want to say this. So you coming, you being a guy who worked at Burger King, who wasn't about the street life, who was, would you say that Chief accepted you as the way that you, you oh, were? Oh, man, listen, the way I was. Mm. So imagine the way that I was. It wasn't like I had to be this tough guy. It wasn't like I had to act <laughs> like I was just hard. You know, like, like that grew on me as I grew as a, from, from, mm. from a man. Like, <laughs> like, like you, when, you, when you're a kid, you fight like a kid. When Facts. you're a teenager, when you're, when you're an infant, you, you, you fight like an infant. Blah, blah, blah. But when you're a teenager, you fight a certain way. When you're a man, you fight a certain way. So as Woo. a teenager, they put me onto game, like the Owls and the Junes and the Ronnies and the cats that I, 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 to this day, I love them. These cats have grown out of that business too. These guys have 
grown up and 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 made some of their lives. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Chief was one. He was a real one. And and when I look at what he did for me, he showed me how to be what I thought w- was being a man mm. for the, for my conditions, for my neighborhood, from where I for was, where you was from, from that yep. concrete jungle. That's how. That's what he taught me. And so many other how, guys how best. Think- like these guys are like to this day, these are guys that I they they still and I don't care what anybody thinks about them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what okay. the world thinks about them, they are my real superheroes. You, you feel Ooh. what I'm saying? Those That's are my fact. superheroes. So like, accepting like, no matter how definitely you accepting it, you for who you are. They taught me how to hustle, they taught me how to defend myself, they taught me how to how to how to be a man. What I thought you know was being a man. What, at the what, time. what being a man was at the time, at the time. yep. For those times, so so to go to 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 go from you know making that kind of money and being in the street, and then you start, and then Chief starts seeing me, you know, like because you got to remember, from being fourteen to sixteen, a lot happened. Yeah, sir, that's two years. Kicked out of high school. Two now years. Now I got a baby getting ready to go. Sixteen, going on seventeen, got a baby that's right, on right, the you way. Just, you, just, you just threw a baby no, in the equation. Listen, but he's but, just gonna throw a baby out. He, he started started getting money. He started getting that money. <laughs> because, 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 because you get a cake right for them honey. Yeah, because you start getting into the girl. You feel yep. yourself. I got the Jordan zone now. And I got the. So you start feeling. It's a, everything a, speaking some for type itself. Of way. This is true. Some type of way you start feeling some type yep. of way, and it's like, man. So now I got a baby on the way. Kicked out of high. My mama's still not knowing what I'm doing. So my mama tells me at 16, like she, she let, we laugh about this to this day. She'll tell you. I told him if he didn't want to come in my house, when I told him to, when curfew would come, to not come back. And she said, he never came back. Mm, <laughs> like one of my boys, hey, Proof said, he, I never came back. I was doing couch to couch to couch to couch. Like my boy, Hunter Proof said, he said, he called it the couch tour. I was doing the couch tour, didn't even know it. Mm. I was sleeping on any couch. He was doing on the boy, couch Vess, tour. Vess, Vess, who Vess is, is somebody that I talked to a couple days ago. He, I slept on his couch. So I really was out there. Mm. He was between that outer core and that inner core. Yep. Yeah, I had to make that, some decisions. That dirt lower than the dirt. I, 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 kept, I kept making decision. mistakes. I kept making mistakes, but and I kept I, going. I ain't quit. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't quit. I didn't, it wasn't like, okay, I'm throwing a towel because that's not, I'm from the west side and we ain't made it at. We, we keep that's going. We, we, we don't stop. That's a fact. I, and so, I, I'm going to say this. I'm from the west side too and he from the west side too. We not made it at. But I'm, I want to give a quick because we had, I only got to say this. I hate that I forgot to put this in there, but I only got to say this because we had Marlon and, and Rick on here and they from the south side and they don't never quit too. So I'm going to just say we from Chicago. Oh yeah, we were Chicago. And we don't never quit. Oh, oh, because no they was going, they was going. Wait, hold on. What about what, what's what's the, the all, sides all sides matter. All sides matter. Oh no, no, no. One hundred. I, 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 we got family on the south side. Oh, you are, so no. it's black. It's black at the end of the day. Hey, wait. Let me right? say this too. So don't, no. don't, don't, don't try to. We want to know. When did you start getting in tune with Jewish people? This is you trying to throw it. You no, know, tell us when you got. Where did the Jew Chief R.I.P. Chief R.I.P. Man, that's a hell of a guy. He took you, accepted you as who you were, and, and I think a lot, a lot of people need to understand that a lot of young people need to be accepted as who they are, whether they you are. agree with it or not. They need to be accepted as who they were. So, so fa- if you want to fast forward, you you really want to go there? I want to so, know. So, because we get to the but real money now. The, but this is how I got to the bar mitzvahs, though. Okay, okay, after okay. Having a baby after this, and, and some time passed, years passed. Okay, and I'm still in it, and he like this not for you. Chief, Chief said. Chief said the okay. same person right. showed me how to break down a key is the same person that said you can no longer do this. And he said you got three options. He said go back to school, get a job, or pursue your music because I had a love for music the whole time. I loved dancing. I loved so doing Chief all this like stuff. Pops. So was Chief like turned pops into that. He was like, pops, whatever, and mind like. you, he still one of them dudes. One of them guys, like one of them real by this time. So he telling me you got. I'm looking at him like he crazy. I'm like, what you mean I can't do this no more? You told me what. What you talking about? You just showed me this money and um, yeah, yeah, you gonna take it away? It. And, 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 and it was him. It was a guy by the name of Vess and so many other guys. Told me like, man, it's not for you. Mm-hmm. So what was I gonna do? Fight him? Because at this that point, this somebody I trusted. This someone I that showed me how to how to how to make it. So, I, what what, you, what three you think I did? I didn't like school, and I said that coming into this interview. Okay, so that school was off the school off. We school that off. was off the out. table, which I wish I would have went to school for music, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> um, so now, Chief, tell me these things. I, t- I made two, two of the decisions. I got a job, and I pursued my music. Mm-hmm. So now, that was like a job at the East Bank Club as a busboy from making you know four or five Gs a week. Money is good, real Shit. good. Hey, what the? And, Shit. and now I'm busting tables, but... I got to study the best. So it was, a, it was a, a Mexican guy that worked at the East Bank Club in the grill. Chess. Who was, who was um, a busboy. I watched how he did it. That's what Michael Jordan, Oprah, all the Lord top lawyers and people mm. like that would come to. So I'm like, yo, 
I'm 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 that West Side guy. I'm I'm a black man that don't stop, right? I don't Facts. quit. So I hustled and learned how that works, start talking to people, blah, 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 blah. Then I didn't know. you know, my, my father, who had room, you know, 19 kids, you know, 19, rumor, rumor 20 something, you know what I mean? Rumor to rumor 20. You know, a half brother by the name of Jamal. You know Jamal. Oh, I, I know that but guy. But I'm just telling for the people I'm telling about Jamal, my half brother. <laughs> He uh, was dancing at these parties. Right. You know what I'm saying? He, he was he was dancing at these parties. Every time I would bump into him, he'd be like, man, come dance these, come dance these parties. I'm like, nah, I'm pursuing my music. Met a guy by the name of Ivan Dupe, Dupe Productions, Level Next Music. Okay. I get with him and start pursuing my music. He hmm. gave me an opportunity, a black man that was educated. Okay, I was going to say. Right. I, I was going to say, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan Dupe. He sounds yeah, like the dude yeah, from, Ivan, from Rocky, Ivan yeah, Drago. Yeah, yeah. Ivan Dupe. Black. With black. Black man. Black man, okay. black family, okay. black mother and father. Woo. Grew up. South side, he a South side. That's what I like to hear, baby. From the city, and he and moved you on up like he was George yeah, Jefferson. Yeah, and he he had an amazing office downtown, Whew. recording studio, doing all these commercials for radio and television. And I got put on to a friend, Sherry Riley, who I know to this day, Richard Patterson, bass player. Okay. They all were in, in involved with this uh, situation. Sherry put me on to rich. It's all about relationships. You know what I'm saying? The got reason it. I'm on the show, the reason I'm on the show is because you my cuz one. <laughs> and I've known you for a while. You got to know, know my history, my story. Know it. So it's about good, re- and we had good relationships. Mm. So if we had bad relationships, I probably wouldn't be on this show. That's a fact. So Man. I know that. So it's all about That's good relationships. That's toast to good relationships. Good, good relationships, relationships and good, good and relationships. longer so, relationships. So I had I had good good relationships, and and she, they put me on. Sherry put me on. Rich put me on. Now with Ivan Dupe working the music. Run into my brother Jamal. He calls me up one day. I'm I'm at the studio working at the studio now at this point doing beats and stuff, and I get a call from the half brother Jamal. Hey man, what you doing? You know Jamal talk all fat. Mm-hmm. Hey man, what you doing? Hey man, we need to dance. I'm at this party, man. We need a dancer. I'm like, what, man? What's you, what is you on, man? Because he knew I could dance. I could break dance. He's like, man, why don't you come through and um, dance on this par- dance with me on this party, man? You'll right. be paid. I'm like, putting you on. Because I was a hustler. At this point, I'm a waiter now. I was at the You got a kid. You got a kid. Got a shorty. So, so, so I, got a, I got a shorty. Now, but hold on. I got a shorty and then one on the way. Oh, is he not? See, hold on. So, so hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to gloss. So he working. First of all, he met Ivan. Ivan is the owner of Jingles 2000. Yeah. He make <laughs> so if y'all watch Jamie Foxx Jingles 2000 y'all know he that was the company that made all the jingles for the commercials and Jay and uh, Skrilla put a status up the other day that said he liked Jamie Foxx show better than Martin because it's funny I'm just saying so we can debate that later anyway so go ahead. so I got the job because I always wanted more right <laughs> right like in life like even when you when you think you're taking a hit I was like okay I'm I'm, I'm busting these tables I'm pursuing my music I can I can have more met a little girl sweet girl you know we we connected okay um and. We hit it off. She told me like, "Yo, why you why you busting tables?" Now listen, to show you how she thought of, talk to me. She was like, "Yo, why you busting tables? Right. You should be a waiter." I said you got a person out that could be a waiter. I know some people at a job at blah blah. I'm like, "Where?" She's like, "And Will Matt." I'm like, "And Will, where that's at?" You know what I mean? I'm like, "Right, right." Will Matt. That's the north side. No, no, no. Right. No. So I'm like. Man, like, like it's a suburb. It's next to right. Stokey, okay, wait. I, I look. Okay, so I'm not trying to make this a confession <laughs> of a scum, but I gotta ask this question. This girl that you said we'll met now. What? What? She, well, she was from. She was from Morton Grove. Skokie. She was Skokie, from Morgan, Skokie. Morgan, Morgan Grove. Now I, I gotta ask this question. You know I gotta ask. Oh, you can ask. Skokie. I don't. I didn't know too many black people from Skokie back then. Uh, yeah, there's some black people that. Uh, it's some black people that. Okay, so Skokie was this woman Grove. black? No, she wasn't black. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, now. No, no. Wait. No, wasn't black. Wait. What race was this woman? She was white. She was a white woman. <laughs> the devil is a lie. No, I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this. This is very important that this came out because this is not even supposed to be a confession of a scum. So tell me this. How did you even, at the club, you met her? Like, how did you no, even meet? No, uh, we, How did you get in? Please, no, no, please the, tell group, me. the group that I was in, just a long story short, the group that I was in, we, we won this... Uh, this contest, we were performing at Park Districts and we won this contest. Okay. We, we landed on WGCI. Mm. And WGCI at the time was always looking for new talent. Name my group was in the sky. We had new talent. Uh, we were a new talent that people that we won. And, v, and, and yeah, so at this thing, we won the big, the, the, we would, uh, it was to perform on, the, on a bigger platform. So we, we won. And I met uh, one, uh, one lady that worked at the station. And then the, the program director, one of the program guys that worked, did some of the PR work for the station, 
he had a daughter, she had a friend, the girl that invited us, who we won, who was a judge. They all came, was like, and I just met her, and we would just start talking. I thought she was cool. I, I, didn't, I didn't think twice about it. I was just like, so she, you didn't, so you cool. didn't see race when you met her. Now oh, this yeah, is at a yeah, time no, when race no, was even no, more. Hold on, like, hold on. Of course I saw color. I was like, it's a white girl. Like I okay. don't play no games with that one. Now, I knew it was know, a white girl. This is a real guy right here. I if you color. act like you don't see color, you a fool. But go yeah. ahead. Yeah, no, I saw color, but I I thought none of she was cool, nice. At the time, uh, she was just real nice. But you me. saw spirit. I can tell looking at yeah, his. Yeah. He looked like he saw. Well, I saw spirit. Of course, I saw color. Yeah, of course. But I, I saw, saw spirit. I saw, of course, I saw color. Yeah, she was just just kind, man, nice, and we we hit it off, and she wound up getting pregnant, and and, and we have a, we have a son to this day. So, uh, but at the wow. time, we at the time she hooked me up with the job. She, I was just following a girl, you know, a girl, a cute girl who was nice and to she me. Was motivating you. Yeah, and just just really motivating. It was like you should be. I took the job. Get there. I'm only brother there. I'm like, yo, shit, man. I done been in this spot before. I see money. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so, opportunity. So I saw opportunity, and I'm like, let me get to work. And I became one of the best waiters there. I I didn't write down any of my orders. Okay. So I went up to the table. What you want? Blah blah. blah. I studied the menu. Studied the best person there. Her name was Barb. It was a po- old Polish lady. And she, I studied her how she, I'll be saying, man, she, she leaving here with a few hundred dollars every day, like every day. Like, like and so I watched her and, Barb. I, and I became that next person. So I'm there like, bop, 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 while get pursuing it. my music, while still doing all, I'm like, while I'm being a get, dad. Yeah, while being a father. While <laughs> one on, on the way. Fuck, man, one right, on one. Right, one on the way. Exactly. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to do whatever I can to have money to take care of my kids. That's what my Shit. mindset was. I'm like, legit, chief, Real like, man. yo, stay, stay 100, do what you got to do. So I'm doing that. Take so care now, of those kids. So now you go to, you go to, okay, I got the baby. Okay, I got the, then I get a call from the brother Jamal. While pursuing the music thing. Oh, yeah, that's get, what we was at. Get, I was going to say, get, that's what we was at. The, the whole white oh, girl yeah. thing threw me off. Oh, but yeah, I'm going to tell you cool. with his heart. I couldn't, I couldn't even ask him more questions because his heart, bro, I saw the spirit. You know what I'm yeah, doing yeah, with you. Go to the next. So, so this is what we was at. He called you, cuz. Uh, yeah, get, uh, frantic. They need a dancer. I'm at the studio. I had done commercials. I had got my first uh, big check mm. from doing a commercial. Ivan threw me in. Talk about a brother. Talk about a black man caring about a black man. Ooh. He... Put me on a commercial. He didn't have to do that. Okay, Put you me said, on a commercial. That I didn't even know, know check, what I was doing. Simple commercial, too. Check, you say. Right. Yes. I. He put me in the booth. <laughs> All these advertising people in the room. I'm in there, and I'm like, he was just like, read what's on the paper. I read what's on the paper. Wait, before you finish this, did you do Bobby Schmurda? Was you Bobby Smurda in that executive room <laughs> when he was <laughs> all on the table? Oh, <laughs> when, was you Bobby Smurda? No, or was you, was your, did you just do no. your thing? No, I was doing my thing. Okay, yeah, I'm it, just it, making it sure was, you didn't jump on the table. Cal- no, it was calm. He brought me in, this, in the Bobby Smurda and told me to read what's on. Uh, told me to real. read what's on the paper. So I read what's on the paper, and I'm like, SUV with a PhD. I had to do it. I did it. Long story short, they they liked it. It gets aired. I go to my mama's house. So at my mama's house, you know, my mama address right, right, is right. always my address. You know, that's just how I was. I had that street mentality. Mom's. Mama address is always mama's address. Fact. It's my address. I don't even home. care. I don't matter. It's home. That's, that's a home. fact. That's always so, home. So I get on this commercial. Go to my mother. Tell me I got a check. Oh my goodness, I got a check. A real check. A real check. And for the first time in my life, I had never seen that much, that many zeros behind my name. Jeez and Louise, it was Papa all check, you said. Dubai. Just keeping it, honey. It was Ivan because Dupay. Ivan Dupay black put me man, on the cover. Yes, he wanted to see me. Put another black young kid on. He put me on. So, he, Chief, wait, I got a question. I got a question. At this point, is Chief still alive? Yes, Chief is still so alive. So, Chief said, now, see, most, this is what I'm going to say, man. This is how you know Chief was a real one. Most people, when they got that golden golden goose, are you going to stay what? right next they, to me? They he don't was alive, but he was in jail. Oh, either way. He was in jail. Either way, if Chief, if Chief, you know, my way was, okay, where did he tell you? Did he tell you from jail or did he tell you? From outside of jail, hey, you can't sell drugs no more. Oh, he told me that when he was out. Outside of jail, right? Yeah, he put me up in an apartment, took and, me out of the neighborhood the whole night. And now so when he, he's in jail now, are you saying that you didn't talk to him, you didn't respect him? You no, no, I, 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 listen, I respected him the whole time while he was in jail. Did still call the shots? Yeah. Like, so, like, no, it was this. It was somebody that I loved. Like I loved him like a father. Well, so did anything. I loved him. Like it was it was like so he out of respect you. for groomy the whole nine. It was out of love and respect. And so Ivan, I got that. So Ivan, Ivan took my you chief now. is Come gone. On, man. What a life. I, Put him I, right here here. Right here yeah, now. Ivan is the one just by chance. That's how I went. And Ivan was is one of those dudes that 
like he'll believe the very best of you mm. as you are like like even when he know you lying even when, <laughs> even when you you know he knew i would have one foot trying to be in the game yeah, one right. trying to he trying knew to i'm like out. looking up like he knew and he, and, he, and he saw something in me as a person. Man. What a life. Because it's not like I was writing lyrics that was just, oh my, he just came with the hot six. You know, right, it was like, right, right, right. No, I was he, was, no, he, he like, knew what you were He was, saw he, he, something in me. Like, he saw the bigger picture. Yep, he saw a bigger, he saw yep, he saw he a saw bigger picture. Spirit, bro. Bro. Okay, now I'm going to just so say now, this. Go I got to tell you. I was so just going to say, please go. So now we in that we in that space now where it's like, I'm doing all these things and things are going good for me. You got the check, Jamal called. Jamal called, got the check. You got the check from the commercial. A black man put a black man. On a he commercial all check. On. All, like all we on like this. Like he knew that it was a national commercial. He wow. knew that it was a 30 second and a 60 second. He knew that he you get paid off each instrument played. He knew you get paid off doing the music. Well, he he did all this his own, it was on his own. For all these things. Every every sec, every specific line. You did the drums, you get yeah. a check. You did the thought, you get a, you, I, you get a check. So I he puts me on, and not only not only did he put me on. He put me on this national commercial and did not ask for any of the money. But me being who I was, when I got the check, I called him up yeah, first. Real. I called him up first. <laughs> fumbling and fumbling. No, nah, because that's a real one. They want to see you do better, bro. I ain't I got cash. I don't, bro. I just want to see I ain't you do better. About that. Yeah, I want to okay, see so you do better. Them. So I, I call Ivan up and go, yo, like, man, I got this check that says CFM and it says. SUV the PhD <laughs> on it. And that's all I had to say in the booth. Right, was, right. It was jazz music. All I had to say was SUV with a PhD. Oh, oh come Weeks on. Later, a commercial jingle. Commercial. Okay, a real jingle. Wow. So a real commercial. He put man, me on a real come on, man. national commercial. When the getting was good. It ain't like today where you just send your MP3 and somebody lay something. That's it. It was like real session, real, wow. real money. So he puts me on this. I'm like, yo, like. First thing I said, well, cause I'm, I'm a West Sider. Right. I was. I still had a hustle in me. Right, right. I, but but I was a positive hustle. I know people think that's crazy, but you can be a positive. Yeah, hustle. You can, oh yeah. So, that, so I said these words to him. Shambi, I said these words to him. I said, I give you some of it. <laughs> cause, <laughs> I give you Cause cause you you felt look. Wait for one. The work that I put in. Go. The work that I put in for one. I feel like. All this money, I don't deserve it. I need to give it to you because you put me on. Like, put and, me on. and also. This sounds like a chess move. Yeah, cause guess what? He he one he laughed like ha. Huh? Like, <laughs> you think I need He's that? Like, I'm good. I pro- I wrote it. I produced it. Played all the instruments. But so he get a check for. So I was Whew. like, if my check was that much, I, was just, I can only imagine what his check was. So the Aggie you had was the, f- the perfect thing to say. Let him know. I, cause I knew back here and right here in the front. I want to do more. I, want, I need. I need. Wait. wait more. I want to do Chief more. would be proud. That's right. I want to do more. Now I gotta get to the. I gotta ask this. When you got this phone call, what happened? So Jamal calls me up. Okay. Tells me, "Hey man, we need an extra dancer. You downtown? You at the studio, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm down here. Man, just go through on all black and come on through." It's time to do a drill. Yeah, it's time to do a drill. <laughs> so I'm like, black. He's like, yeah, come to Excalibur nightclub. So I get to Excalibur. Yeah, that's downtown. That, that used to be downtown. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's now Tap. It's the oh, yeah, place right, that, it's the one that, you know, the place yeah, they call Tap. Oh, yeah. It's always been a big dog club. The, yeah, the club that's Tap now been downtown. Tap. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what, what he had his birthday at? That's the one you told me about. Oh, that town. That town. So now. So hmm. now I'm at this, I'm at, I'm, I go to this show up and I'm like, I know this is a nightclub because I'm older now. I'm right. like, this is a nightclub. Like, and I see all these kids in there. I'm like, They're hopping around the nightclub. I'm all like, black? no, 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 check this out. So we get, I get in there and I see all these kids. I'm like, why are all these kids in here right, with in these club. adults? Man, you better take so them off I'm of the <laughs> Kids so now, in there? So now I, the music is playing. I go upstairs, I go up that long stairway they had. I get up there. This I mean, it was of power. jumping. It was jump like, DJ dances, people on the stage. I would have been tripped out as kids everywhere. Like, so okay, what is to, really like, going what's on? What's going on? Because right. I, I done so bought I go, the. So I go up to the, to <laughs> the, the guy that's on the mic doing the MC and I go, hey man, what is this? Like, right. his 50th birthday party? I point to the guy. He was like, no, it's his son's. This is son party. I was like, what? How many people? And oh he's my like, God. bar mitzvah. It's a bar mitzvah. And think about this. I for didn't really kid? know for a kid. I didn't really know what a bar mitzvah. Why? I had no clue. I knew oh, there was oh, we, Jewish look, people, but I didn't know anything episode, about a bar mitzvah. But I didn't know anything about a bar mitzvah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, okay. I, saw, what, I knew like, Jewish what people, like, but I didn't know what that was. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, so in the, I'm gonna just say this in the in the in the hit in the H Y F R video. 
Hell yeah, fucking right. Oh, yeah. And that video with Wayne, well, and Dr- and they Drake, was gonna yeah. they started off in the church and then it got super wild. That's how I figured. I'm like, okay, maybe it's like you know a, 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 a religious thing and then a party or like you know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, so like you said, that's why that's what I think all people assume is them going up in church and doing something and in the church. Yep. Well, they, they, well, what Jewish people do? They do a uh, they go to the synagogue and they have a service for the kid. It's a religious part of it. Okay. But the party, like what we were doing, was the celebration. The celebration, of the party. celebration. So they went to the oh. ceremony Woo. during the day. And then had a big party with all the family, all the kids from the school, like like a real big celebration. It was a right. religious thing. It was a right. religious celebration. Okay, it was an actual. But they was turning up to all the latest music, like like playing <laughs> the hottest music, the stuff that I knew that I was listening to, and I'm hearing it, and they're like, "What? Like Whoa. these kids actually listen to this?" So yes, Bro, these older. kids. No, no, I'm no, I'm saying as you was thinking this when you first right, got yeah, there. Yeah, like, okay, so you like, are all black on. You asked the DJ, "Hey, what's yeah, this?" You still I'm, don't know. You even though you know what this is, now you don't know what your cousin called you for. No, I, not my brother. Your brother called you for my baby. Brother so I'm you like, both. I'm like, what's going? On? So I had to ask. He said, I said, this is his 50th birthday party. I knew it was a right. party, but then when he said, no, it's his. I'm like, it's his bar mitzvah for a 13 year old kid. All this, this is a mate. Like, like oh, so we I talking, started, we like, talking bread. bread. So, yeah. So now I'm de- the whole club packed with family and friends. Excalibur. That's now it's how. If y'all know, y'all know. Had to rent the they rent the whole thing. It's out, never. So. It's it's like. It's kind of like a mini live in Chicago. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a that's fact. Way, that's the best so, way to do it. Explain it. So I'm like, whoa. Then I, 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 I'm dead. They just like, they just want me to then follow, you know, stick with your brother and just do what he's doing. So I'm like, yo, they okay, raising okay. their hands, getting the crowd hype, throwing prizes and just celebrating with the kids and the family and all that. Are y'all I'm kidding like, me? I'm loving it. All right, this, I could do. What's then? If the man <laughs> tell me I'm getting this much per party, okay. That's more money to help feed my family and my kids. I, I ain't got to go to no streets. I ain't got to go down that And road. I'm here enjoying myself. So I myself. took that opportunity. Again, here we go again. Opportunity. By opportunity. another black so, man who so, pulled you in. No, no, hold on. No. Check this out. This person wasn't black. Okay, so your brother white, did. Your my, bro- okay, okay. Oh, my, my brother, brother gave, the brother gave you the call, but he wasn't, gave the, me the, call, he wasn't but, the orchestrator. But the owner of the company was a white dude. Okay, now we're getting back. See now, look, this guy's so pro black. Dude. I always every time he opened the look, you see what he got on all black. Look, I don't even know yeah. why he got all. Look, <laughs> he got all black, right? Every time he opened it, and I see a slither of any type of whiteness or anything. Hey, I need to know what that's about. I need to know <laughs> because it's the chest all moves. Black. It's because it's all black, and the chest moves this guy making. I tell you what, anytime I see a sliver, it's always good. The people he introduced me to, anytime is is that it's always genuine, genuinely good people, no matter what race they are. So I want to know about this light that you saw. You saw the the, the black man came and say, "Brother, my brother, slide over. My, bro- my brother told me, come on, check it out." And I'm watching this white dude do his thing. He was good at what he did. Okay. But me being a rapper, me being you know a street dude where I'm from, I had a different take on. Like when I hear the music, I feel totally different when I hear. Okay. You know when I'm hearing songs and I'm hearing the music. I took, I took, it, it, it's a, you know, hip hop. <laughs> Tell the truth. It, it, it takes you to another level. Hip hop, music, Ooh. R&B, music, all that. It, On it, the it, inside. It took me to another place. So when I would hear a song and I knew how to rap, I knew how to connect with the people. See, okay. I wasn't performing okay. for people. Okay. I was partying with them. And mm. it's a big difference. And what he was doing, you know, you know, he's a cool dude. It, 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 he, he was good at what he did. It was more about a show. Like, let me show you how good. And for me, like, it wasn't about a show for me. When I, when I did it, I was like, I felt like, I'm a, I'm gonna be a party. I'm a party. This is celebrate for me. with them. Yep. Hey, hey, we gonna steal it. And that's what all we saying here at Flip Flops and Socks. We just a family. It's not a show. We, that's what we said from the beginning because we, we just trying to connect we with just the people. To connect with the fam. <laughs> hey, look, this guy. Go yeah. ahead. Okay. So and, and I got to and I got to do that. The dude hit me up on Monday. The party was on a Saturday night. Uh, it was from seven to ten thirty. Seven to ten thirty. I remember that. Um, and he hit me on Monday and was like, Three Yo, and a half hours of bag. Yeah, banging the whole time. Good food, good every. I'm good talking food. about like everything. He know he black. Bang, good the food. That's, that's, that's the main food. thing. That's the main thing. Big, showed a big montage of the kid and the family celebrate. It was just a beautiful thing to witness. And so now I'm like, man, this Monday call. This guy give me a call. He like, man, how would you like to do this, man? We you got requested. People like the way you would. Because when I was doing it, I was. Really, yeah, you I was do feeling it. it. How I really it, yeah. do it. Right, right. So like they a noticed real that, you know, nothing against my brother Jamal. I love my brother Jamal. But you know, you know how you know how Jamal oh, Jamal man, live. The, J- Jamal, he he corkily, he he's uh, he's corkily, <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. He corkily perfect corkily. himself. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? At all times, and I love him for that. So his, he was always his himself. His quirkiness fits his personality, personality so well. And I love him for so that, So I love like, him for that, too. Yeah, he just one of those that Jamal. just himself, no matter what. <laughs> he gonna be him. It don't matter what so, you think. So He's you gonna put be me, him. Then you bring me. I got the hat on. Um, I had my swag, my my, my West Side swag, the right, way I was. Right, doing your thing. 
And they loved it and requested, called him up, said, that guy you brought with you, that was it was me. So then he put me on. <laughs> I started me. doing these parties. I'm watching this. Yo, I'm making this money. My whole train of thought was the same train of thought I had when I was in the streets. Same train of thought I had when I was waiting tables, busting tables. It right. was like, I can take care of my family. I can do more. I can it's have more. I me. can be better. And I ain't have to sell my soul. It's you know what I'm saying? I ain't have to sell out to my black community by being out there selling drugs. I, I was a seller. When I was selling drugs, this is, this is how I really feel. I was selling my community out. I was selling my mother out, my grandmother, my ancestors. I was selling out. Come on now. And people may shit. not like me Come saying that. I really don't care. Come, no, like, no, that's no, what no, I was no. Really people doing. need to look like, in that mirror. Like, like, like yep. for real. You had like, to face I, and yourself I before anything. That. Like, and I'm like, yo, I, 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 got the, I got the mind of I ain't never giving up. I got the mind. I got the right people behind me, people who believe in me, black people who are lifting me up. I got to do this. I got to do this for my kids. I got to do this for my mom. I got to do this for everybody. It's bigger than me. It's bigger I gotta than do me. It for everybody. And he this, saw that. Like, he saw that in you. That yeah. Friday. Oh yeah. So listen. And so that Monday. So now I'm, like, I'm getting caught. Like, hey, can you do this every? And, like, hey, I was like <laughs> this because I'm like this. I'm a hustler. I'm like I can. I can still wait tables. I can still work at the studio. Wait, you still waiting I, tables? Yeah. You got the commercial check. And you, you got still waiting. This yeah. yeah. You black or listen, you, you Jamaican? Listen, I still got it because I had to work it. I had to show Ivan that I was worthy to be up there. I had to put in the work to show Ivan that That's I that true. I deserve to be there. This wasn't no this wasn't no handout. No out. handout. I was just no about to say out. it wasn't no handout. He it was a hand up. Ivan gave me a hand up. Chief gave me a hand up. My brother Jamal gave me a hand, hand up. All up. hand ups. You know what I'm saying? Like even though I was working That's for somebody hey. else, but at the end of the day, if he it could was be me. a movie. So now, if he could t- teach people that, if he if you could teach a course and tell people, because I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people get a lot of support that they don't recognize. And if you take that support and, and you, like you said, use it as a hand up. Don't just be like, up, oh, give it to me. I'm good. I'm a, I'm good. Throw it away. But that, nah. Nah, pull me up. That, give, give me the hand. Don't because I can hand. drop something down. Or you I can know pull what? You up. A lot Which of people, a lot of people don't trust that process or they scared. They self. They don't trust. They don't believe in themselves. He, he made that chess move on saying, fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and trust the process. Fact. Get that hand up. Those who going to help me, they going to help me. Those who going to ride, they going to ride. They going to ride. Hey, listen, at the end of the day, what did I have to lose? Ooh. Because you had so much riding on you, and you had so much riding on you anyway. So it's yeah, like, it's like look at look at where you came from. So, right, I gotta fact. do something. Oh, I can't go I back got a there. family. I, I, I got a family. No, I ain't looking for no public aid, food stamps, all that to people Ooh. that got it that need it when they need it. I, I ain't not that. But I was on some like real like I he have noticed to get that this. his limbs I got, if worked, I'm, his arms, his legs. Man, like he was an able bodied person. Able bodied person. And like he said. No, no, this to anybody who needs that or uses that. Right. No. The whole thing is this: is that if you know, oh, I've, you, I've been, he, he, he's a product of that. That's the whole thing. That's and he's like, fact. okay, now that I've got enough of that, I need to make sure all the people around me. I need to do something to where I can disperse this to where we all don't need that. Now. Being yeah. complacent that's con- that's con- is, was not the move. It's not the move. Yeah, Stagnant so, is not the move. I had I had to work many jobs. I, I I had to like fight for it. But the most important thing I I think y'all listeners need to know is I ain't give up. <sighs> I ain't give up. And you gotta have and, and believe me, I know it sounds crazy. You can be, you know, in the streets and still have love. People think like you ain't nobody a killer and a hater and, and somebody that's angry 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. You just that's not true. When, it's not true. When, yep, you're room, when you're in the room by yourself, so you just sitting in the room. I'm mad. I hate. I want to kill. I hate everybody. That ain't yep. how it works. Nope. No. Nope. When them we, doors we close. first, man. Like, like at the end of the day, we spirits first. We, okay, we wait. Like, that, so, now, look. Our listeners like the real. So, I'm going to say, you said something. You said, you two can be, hey, this is what our listeners think of you right now. Hey, bro, all we know from you, you still work for a white man who throw parties, bro. Yeah, and I'm cool with people thinking they can check this out no, with time. I, you, so, no, no. So, so that's what that's so why you people, left them off at. So right, so right. So when people when people hear I was working for Bert, you know, working for you yeah. know these white establishments. And I look at you for, again. Right, working so working for a white man yeah, who throw parties. Yeah. And I and I was playing, like you said, I was playing chess, right? Whew. So I'm playing chess. I'm doing music with a black man. I'm doing uh, my family. I'm a black man. I'm doing my dreams. And I'm feeding National my family without losing my integrity, without selling my people out, right? Uh, right? The best way to so, move. Right? So, right? You, I do the bar misses, I do all this. Then you fast forward a little bit, I start learning a lot more because I study who's the best in the room. See, I'm not one of those. I, I, it's That's okay the to key. be Scotty Pippen. Study. It's okay to be Scotty Pippen watching Michael Jordan. When I step in the room with Ivan, he was Michael Jordan. I didn't mind being Pippen or Kerr or any of them people. I didn't mind Ooh. being, being, being you have playing to my play part your role. to get the Pippen. championship. <laughs> and, I was the, and I was the Jordan of my family and my kids. Yep, yep, I was yep, Michael yep, Jordan yep. of my kids. So I had to do whatever Everybody's I had to Michael do. Jordan to, to themselves. That's right. So play the Pippin until you are Mike. The, listen, so for Even me, when you are Mike, you still got to play the Pippin right. sometimes. So for me, oh, shit. I crazy. took the opportunity to, to really focus on 
how do I just make something mm. happen? I how do I make it work? I knew I wanted something. It was that was that never left from being a kid in my mom on mm. my mama's lap to this the man you see here today. So I work what I had to work because anybody that's talking about like like when I think about today's times and how okay. they, you know people talk about. Uh, I don't want to do anything with white people. I don't want to do it. I respect anybody that says that. Okay. I respect that's because we all individuals. We all each individual and we're entitled. Nobody's perfect. Okay. Nobody on this earth. But you're entitled to like what you like. But they try to make everybody tries to make everybody perfect. Perfect. Yep. That's what they want to do. You can learn from your mistakes. Like with this whole anti racism movement. White people who were racist, like straight up racist, they can change their lives over. And they, they can make change and real change, but it's gonna have to show in their actions. Yeah, actions I was about yep, to say, it's yep. if Not they just want words, to, if actions. they want to. So I, I was able to do that. I was able to maneuver and do the things I needed to do to get to where I'm at today. Like, and, and what I did was I watched what that guy was doing and said, "Okay, I'm dancing on these parties." Now he asking me to be an MC, which an MC makes way more money than a dancer. I didn't DJ. But I I can make music. The DJ, so it sounds like okay, so the dancer and then the DJ. It seemed like the MC run the party. The MC runs. So the you party. jumped over. Yeah, I, right. And DJ, you said I, I want to go went, straight to running MC, the party because it, he he gave me the mic, let me MC, and when I MC'd, I I watched him long enough to get the formalities, to get you know when they do the blessings and to get how, <laughs> hey, look, look, how <laughs> to get how it all works. So I start watching and really watching the same way I watched Chief, the same way I watched Barb at the uh, Baker Square and Will Met, the same way I watched Ivan Dupe. I Watch the very best to study make myself become better. To make myself Chess. better. If I don't pass them up, so be it. But I still kept going. Never quit. Push, 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 push. And now, one day comes fast forward. I'm booking out with this guy, left and right, doing parties as an MC. Now I'm the person on the mic. Now I'm the person this. One thing happens. One thing you know about me, I ain't too nobody blows and I ain't doing none of that. That kind of lifestyle, Woo! I ain't, I, ain't, I don't That's drink. None Woo! of that. That's so I was dub. in a very, very clear mind. This person didn't have his mind. And, and unfortunately, I pray for him right to this yeah. day. Got love for him to this day. Pray for him. But he he didn't have integrity first, and that's something I had to start learning. I started learning integrity, right? Like putting integrity first, like before my job, before my business. Integrity. How would I like to be treated was always first when I did anything. Mm. I start learning that. That's the first right? thing. Um, I wasn't perfect, but I but I I, I learned that from like Ivan. I, I really sponge. Did. So now, so <laughs> now sponge. So now this guy, fast forward. I've been doing the parties, booking out the people liking the way I do parties because remember they watching MTV, they watching right. they online, watching how it really is. They wanted the authentic thing. Right. So having a black MC rock your party that was authentic is what the kids what the kids like, the families like. They wanted the authentic. Experience. Not that real. They want that it's, real. Like, it's like when I go to a bar mitzvah, it's authentic. It's it's, it's who, not who like people are right. So when I did the entertainment <laughs> side of it, I gave them an authentic me, like how I really feel when really I hear the music, feel some type and I put that music. energy off on them, yep. and it made everything flow. Real vibes instead of hey, like from the beginning, he said when he got to flow or whatever it was called, maybe it was called I don't know, no, whatever it was. Okay, okay. So when he got there, and he said, okay, I can tell that they're more so kind of like putting on a show, trying to put on a show. Hey, look at what we're doing. Instead of, hey, let's party together. Let's, let's feel the let's love together. Let's celebrate with let's the celebrate family. Together. Let's celebrate with the family. Yeah. So this vibe as an MC now, he's seeing, it's not a thing of, like he said, it's not I'm here in front of all these white people as a black man, like, let me show you what I can do. Nah. It's literally nah, like, I look. I wasn't on the sandbow, none of that. It's like, let's take the whole barrier down. You yeah. love what we do. And we don't got no hate for you. Because we've seen the memes a thousand times. That's a fact. They, 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 white people understand we don't want revenge. We just want equality. Mm. So what this guy's saying, and this is so crazy, he hit it right on the head. We're partying together. Let's, let's take this thing up. We know y'all like our music. We know y'all like what we do, our right. swag, everything. Look, yo, I have a, I have a child by a white person. I, I am thoroughly in the world. I'm talking about, let me tell you something. I am the world of, the, of, of white people, of Asian people, of Indian, of whatever people. I'm in that world. So I see race. We all see race. But like you said, we gonna party together, and yeah. there's no thing of me. I'm gonna just put on a show. No, no, we gonna do this nah, together. That, that, that wasn't like being like I was in the house, and I was being like I was. A, <laughs> I was still a field dude. Exactly. I came in with the exactly. dirty, with the dirty boots on. But I who came did in they accept me for who I was? Who did the like, ones in the house want though? Say the again? ones in the field. Who did the ones in the house want? Come on, man. So let's take the veil. That's Come right. on, y'all. Can we just take the veil up? Yeah. That's what I love about this guy, man. Let's take the veil up because yeah. I, he can see. It don't matter what race you are. He can see right through it. He can see through to the spirit part. That's the first thing he said on the show at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. That's one thing. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Give it. Go on. Keep going, man. Yeah, God so, damn, so it's I, a story. So man. now, so now, doing these, doing these, 
these parties, like I'm I'm watching and this guy he 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 made a mistake, you know, he, he got addicted to whatever he got addicted to, he couldn't couldn't handle uh you know where where he was at in life. I ain't judge him. I, I loved him unconditionally. He was cool with me. So, you okay. know, I, unconditional. You know how black people do it. We we unconditional. <laughs> we give unconditional love to whoever. You know, man. to to the lowest, to the highest. You know. So I I was like that with him. This is Jules, man. This is real. as how black people be. So go ahead. Yeah, like so I um so forgiving. So I learned uh, how this all worked, and I was put in a predicament where I had to after doing it for some years. I was put in a position. Where I was like, yo, I don't really want to do bar mitzvahs no more. I'm not gonna work at Baker Square anymore because I'm making money doing this music on these commercials. Right. I'm making money doing music, so it's like I don't. So I'm, I'm like Ivan. I'm, about, you know, I'm leaving the bar mitzvah stuff alone. I'm leaving. I'm just focusing on music, and I got the opportunity to start my own company. Mm. I was forced to do it. Hello. I was walking away from the bar there mitzvah. It goes. World. There it I was walking what, away wait, from the wait, bar wait, mitzvah. Wait, world because this guy was, you know, did what he did, and everybody in the company was like. Can't, can't get with we it. Can't get with him, man. We gonna we gonna leave. We looking at you. The family's looking at me. He did a no show. You know, he did a no show on the party, and they called me up. It was on Mother's Day, mm. and Tenny, one of my other MCs that worked for me to this day, okay, okay. he shows up and it, it was saves the day. Pretty much, that's how I went. And then on that Monday, from that Sunday, Mother's Day, we got a call from almost every planner in the city, every planner in the city, and the families that did like me and I that I had booked, they were really. Uh, Interested in seeing how I could do their party. Jewish families, yeah, Jewish families that wanted me. So what, what made come on, man. Jewish they planners come up the whole night. So what made it what made it special was um, I told the, I told the planners and I told the different people that I don't want. You know, I'm gonna I, I'll do the parties, but I'm not gonna take what you signed up with him for. Just mm. pay me what I need to get the party done, and then that's it. That's it. So I was because I didn't want. Anybody thinking I stole anything? This humble. Anybody? No, <laughs> this guy. No, uh-huh. like I just I come him. on, man. No, I didn't want anybody thinking that I'm trying to steal something from him. Get over. Get over. Get over. Get over. So I said, yo, if y'all, if I was booked to do y'all party, y'all saying y'all want nothing to do with him, pay me. And this is the first party that I had. Um, it was the Parmesac family. It was he Parmesac. remembers the first family. They were like Parmesac. It was a whole big thing. They were like, yo. We had you book for our kids' party. We want you, blah, blah, blah. But we, I said, just pay me what I'm supposed to get. Here's what I need to get the equipment there. Here's what I need to bring the dancers, the DJ. Here's what I need. That family was like. Brain cool. working. I said, the rest, you can keep, give to him, do whatever, because I didn't want that on my conscience. And and now, I'm all the parties that I was booked for, that I was finishing out my parties before I walk away, I was going to finish every party that I had. And then all those families are like, and the planners like, mm-mm, we want you. No, no, no. We want so then new parties start coming. So now new parties are coming. So this is different year. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a come up now. Hold on, wait. This is a come. So it's like when he, if he would have found what chief what chief dropped and sold it all, and now you got the new. What you gonna do with the new people coming if you ain't put nothing in the place? Right. But he didn't do that. He said, "Hold other I way. I want my own. Let me let me now. Now we on the new party. So now, now you get your so own now, clientele. Yeah, my own clientele. So okay. I had, that was beyond first, what he started. What he started it has okay. nothing to do okay. with anything. So I had to. Because when I did the one part, I did it my way. Then everybody heard what I'd done, and I wouldn't take the money that I, they, they heard. Because, you know, people talk. You know, they yeah, was like, of course. he wouldn't take the money. He only wanted the money that it cost. So I wasn't making, like, extra money. You, you was just taking at cost. Yep. Right. Yep. And so I start getting my, my account. You know, people that I rock with that believed in me, an accountant who threw me a bag and said, put this in the bank. You know, you you starting your new company. I was forced to start. I wasn't even going to start a company. I wasn't even thinking about doing bar mitzvah. Come on, How man. does it happen Come like on, man. that? Saw the five names, and all of a sudden, the name that got picked at the very last minute, lady by the name of Zoe O'Shaughnessy, she was she threw a name at us, and I was like, "Dang!" She sent me a th- sent me a, 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 a text, and it said, uh, "A email." And she sent me an email saying, "How about flow F?" L O W. She's like, since you like the rap and you like the rap and all that stuff, and you got flow. And then she was like, and it stands the acronym for Families Love Our Work. Come on, <laughs> it all makes sense. How did it all, it all make sense, <laughs> bro? So, so the, I mean, in the 25th hour, she sent that because I had I had down to earth, down to earth you talked entertainment. About that in the final hour, D two E. I had I had all these other names that my 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 girlfriend at the time. Uh, sat down and we uh, it was ever yeah, my that's wife. Crazy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wait now, hold on. He's all on. You're not gonna like gloss over that. I'm glad he dropped that in there. Yes. I just I, I always you know I'm gonna drop. Y'all drop, know I hear the drama. Hey, you man, know I hear day. it. So let me say this. This guy said my wife, Evelyn. Now I know for a fact. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna pour <laughs> this up. Gonna... Let me pour this up. 
I got to pour this up. He don't drink, by the way. He don't drink, he don't smoke, he don't do none of these things, but I guess he's going to drink that water. He's going to drink the yeah. heck out that water this episode. Yep. All right. See a little dad. Yeah. 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 I get a little bit. Now, I'm going to say this. Evelyn, y'all heard that. You guys heard it. You heard it? There's no taking it back. He can't try to say her name. Goddamn, g- g- uh, uh, goddamn, uh, what was the last name? Uh, Teresa, Jackie. Teresa. And yeah, all of- Evelyn. Evelyn, yeah. right? Now, I know for a fact. I love her. That's because beautiful. what I know is this. I know names. I will take a drink to the fact that if he if if he tells me that because this is a I'm just saying because you know we get the ju- juice on on flip flops and socks. He started off as a young black man coming up. All oh, black man put me on in a black and then I worked for a white man. Wait, hold on. But then now I, now it's me. White man out the picture. It's me. I'm big dog. Black man got love for the white man. Never said I disliked him. He just had some issues he had to address. I stepped up as a black man. Now. You had a, a, a child by a white woman, <laughs> right? Well, my first child is black. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. We don't. Like we, we getting all the white, all yeah. the crack. When you soon as you open the crack up, I see white. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, yeah. Because people like to do that. That's how people act in real life. I don't life. mind none of that. I, I, need, like I need to know why you dealing with white people because we are gonna get to that too. Before we close this out, and I'm gonna say this. You said Evelyn, so go ahead and tell the people how white Evelyn is because Evelyn is a white person's name. Can we toast to that? That's what they say. That's what yeah, they say. So go ahead. You no. just had him happy. Yeah. Uh, he finally funny. overcame it, and now he owns the company. The black man's in charge. And he does all that. It runs to a white woman. Uh, How dare you come on this show? Well, my, my wife is is not white. Okay. Wait. No, wait. Okay, hold my on. My wife is. is <laughs> I'm glad I didn't pull up a lot. My wife is black, and she's Filipino. She's <laughs> black. Black. They was, they was waiting Black. on him to say was it was a Caucasian woman. Why? Because his success is so crazy. He had to be the two white had to, nah, nah, that was that was never my. Uh, I just like I said, I met someone that was kind and beautiful, and she was white, and that's just what it was. So okay, we had my beautiful. son out of love, and you spirit. Can, if you look at spirit, you can take the however they want it. It was out. It was all spirit. So, take it how you want it. Soul spirit. Come so, on, man, it was out of love. Uh, I have now. a beautiful son. Okay, Avery, love the guy. And my wife now, like we have a four-year-old, Cadence Lyric. Cadence Lyric. Uh, I, I, I Why is he it. always on the verge of either having kids or this guy don't stop? <laughs> so you know when you get when you get money, it's like uh, the dude that make black uh, black air, <laughs> black air. You just want to have. You just want to have a house full. Wait. Yes. So are you are you wait are you serious? Is Evelyn black for real? Say it again. Is Evelyn black for real? Oh yeah, she's one hundred percent black. Yeah, black Filipino. Can we toast to that? Yeah, 100%. Black. Can we? Because they say Evelyn. Yeah. <laughs> they say Evelyn. Evelyn. You know yes, what they're going to say. Yeah. Black men get money. Black. Now, that now, now, go. now. Before so we close me, this for out. Me, for me, so black, go, black go men get money and, and getting with white women, it, that's their choice. See, I'm on this. It's just a like, choice, Regardless man. of what anybody say, like I know there's militant people, there's people who, are, you should be black, black, black. I get it. I understand that 100%, but I'm black 365 days a year. Whew, and I've been fact. black and it's not gonna since change. I was been born. Where the problem comes in is when you lose who you are. Mm. When you in lose who you are. But when you giving back to your people, when you loving your people, when you loving yourself, when you loving who exactly who you are and you know who you are. You're like, the, the, problem, the problem with the world, y'all, is we... When people make mistakes and people do things they shouldn't do and all that stuff, we tend to ridicule them, judge them, hold and point you know, the finger, point the finger. But when, if you could, Jeez. if you could go inside everybody's life, I bet you can find a lot of things that everybody you know did wrong. Oh yeah. So That's for me, fact. for me, I, I I believe in righting your wrongs. Right. I believe in your actions show whether or not you you've. You've corrected yourself. That's a fact. Whatever that is. And I, I'm not going to ever say that it's wrong if a white or a black man dates a, a white woman Thank or a, a, Thank a, a black because woman dates a white man or Asian or Hispanic. I, I just don't have, I don't have the space in me. You like what you I'm like. About to, I'm fighting for, like when I fast forward to 2020, everything that's going on, I've been this way. You can check my history. I've been check this way. Check the track record. I, that's a fact. I have been giving back to my people and my family and everybody that I love, like create my companies. I have people that work for me that are from the West Side, South Side, black people that work for the company. I have a couple Jewish people that work for a company, a couple gay people that work for the company. Yep. And at the end of the day, yep. they are all individuals, right? Like I am my brother's keeper and I'm also my keeper. Mm. I'm also, your like, like, really I, gotta, I gotta be true to who I am. And as, like I said, it's gonna be like, like even now, what the things that I'm working on now, like compared to what the world is today with the with the with the racism that's real heavy for us, you know, 
People say, what do black people want? Y'all seen these riots. Y'all seen the protests, whatever you want to call it. You've seen it. Right, right, right. And what, what, it, what do, wait, let's, let's close that last segment out. Again, love all people. Again, hey, if you got hate in your heart, man, you're not the type of people. To be around. You're not the type of people that, that need to be around the type of people that, you're not, you're not really for the movement. Because our movement, like you said, everything we do is out of love. Out it's of being love. fueled with love. So it don't, ma- it don't matter if you're well, a white that's man. That's who they, black people are, period. That's, that's who we like, are. Like, at the end of the day, that's who black people are. We love, and a lot of people don't think that because of what the media put out there. Like, if you go Ooh. into a black community right now, it's more love than the the, the small portion of people that are. <laughs> I tell are, you this right now, crime or doing something violent. Like that's that's this small. I but, tell you how much the love is, and I don't mean to cut you off. No, you ain't the love, how how love, wisdom, how, how how real it is. A white person gets to an accident. Who will be the first person to save him? A black person, because that's what we man. Look. That's just who we are. We'll save a different race before the race that's supposed to help them out. Save their own. And and I'm gonna be like you said. Everything we do is out of love. And I and I be and be. I just want to close that out and hop right before you get into because I already know you're finna go crazy now. Before you get into that, are we are we saying let like, since we on the topic of white people and we trying to act like all white people is bad and oh uh, this this is we because look we're gonna get this settled on flip flops and socks the blackest platform you could <laughs> we gonna get this settled because we gonna talk about the facts. Are we just canceling white people? Because you guys like I said you got some people who say. Hey, we don't want y'all. Look, we don't y'all. Lucky we don't want no revenge. We just want equality. We just want what we uh, what ever, just as much as everybody else get cool. Shit. But you got other people who say, "Nope, done with the white people. X them out. We're done. They're all devils. They all this. They all that." Now I'm gonna say this as a as a black person who has white people in my family. What 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 you think? Hold on, let, let me. Because we stand ten toes down over here. Ten toes down. So I'm gonna say this. Is that what we're saying? We're canceling all white people because if you say that. Well, you know, listen, listen. <laughs> come on, listen, come I'm on. I'm just gonna be as real as I can with that one. Talk to me. Like, like right now, I'm working on entrepreneurship, right? For okay. others, like for other people to have some hope, so that they can have some ownership. I'm working on a, a, a real plan. Where I've been working on it for weeks. Right. A real plan to bring businesses, to bring jobs, ownership to my west side, to the south side. When I think hear people say that they don't Power want nothing moves. to do with white people, I'm not with that. Because if, if people are saying that, and they really mean it, really I need mean you it. to grab all your money. Because all those presidents on there, they all own slaves. <laughs> Burn the money. Hey, now, the clothes Burn the you cash. got on. The clothes you got on. You bought it from a black person, right? You, okay, you can't even say I bought it from a black owner. I bought it from, I bought it from a black uh, 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 a business. Yeah, a black company, yeah. Where did the material come from? Did they outsource? Did come they, on, did, they did they did make that make cotton the shirt they sell? Did you make the material? Okay, your bank account, your 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 rent, stop paying rent, your mortgage. Don't pay your mortgage because that's a bank you got it from. And I'm telling you right now. So if we really talking <laughs> hey, like that, look at if we, if we hey, really, making them think. If, if we really deep in, it's, 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 it's deep in deep in than what, it's deep than on, what we if, thought if it we, was. If we, if, we, if, we, if we do that, now we saying we don't want like we before we can do like y'all. I'm going to say the best way I can say it for everybody on the streets that understand this. Come on, talk to them. You got to get the bag first. You got to get the bag first to create those businesses. You can be an entrepreneur. You can be all, like we like I'm an entrepreneur. But we can't when we talk about the big picture, Ooh. not the little, the big picture. The we bag. saying hope. We need hope. We, we have to have ownership. Which means owning our properties, owning the small businesses. What I'm working on right now, I'm gonna give a little of it right now, and I haven't told anybody this publicly because oh, I'm working shit. behind the oh, scenes. No, wait, wait, hold on. You need some chase on that one. You need some chase. I can just already tell. Just a bit. Just a bit. Because he finna drop it. He finna hold on. No, nah, it's just hold on now. Like I understand that I have the same anger. I've had police officers harass me. I've had those things happen. Like, but uh, but I didn't I didn't fold. Okay, you didn't fold. Now come on, give us the. You say this you is know, the first time saying this. And um. This is my first time saying this. So what I've been working on is called, you know, it's something that we all know and, and understand and love. It's called the corner store. Mm. It okay. is called the corner store. It's called Mon Pa's cor- the corner store. And it's going to be black owned. You're looking at them. And I have investors, people who are coming in right now with real money so that I can, because I have a 501c3. I have things that I can do. I'm trying to use C3, what's that? a non-for-profit, non-for-profit organization. So what I'm trying to do Say is less. people who live in the community, I already have families lined up who are have the entrepreneur spirit, people who are trying to do something with their lives, creating these chain of Ma and Pa corner stores. So this is my thing. It's it got it. healthy food in it. They got the snacks you like, the stuff you know, we like to eat. He knew where he was going. Each. He knew so where he was going. That's, that's, that's going about that. It's going to be owned by those individuals. He was just about to say so. Straight up. And is it store or is it store? Store. 
It is Ma and Pons. It, I was going to say that's what I thought. S-T-O. He's so deliberate, though. I knew he didn't. He didn't make a mistake. That's, that's why I asked S-T-O. like this, though, because I know he would have. And I knew he was going to say. So you basically going to you going to you going to take you going to take our corner stores back, corner stores back. Yeah, from and, and make it black. A lot of these black owned, re- black re- owned, re- regenerate the black dollar. Yeah. And he was just about to act, so you just gonna put the same junk in there that. Uh, that no, and everybody Healthy like junk. Food. That's fine. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be. But no other options though. It's like going into a black Seven Eleven. You will have good vegetables. You will have fruit. You will have the things that you like to eat. Like when you go into Seven Eleven, if you if you are vegan, you can go in there and find if you okay. search yeah, through the 7-11 stuff. Okay, yeah, Seven Eleven for sure. But but we try to do this. Some good vegan stuff. But this this, this the black version of that. Okay. And the way so that I can we still need, get my flavor we help. Yeah, you still can get your stuff. Oh, over that's there. all I want to know. And, but but I'm gonna have a live DJ spinning. Check this out. Live DJ spinning. Young cats from the hood. Young cats that DJ. They'll have opportunities to come in the store and spend. We're gonna have what? resources for so people kick to come. It, like a little kick area, like a little cozy area. Yeah, where you so come wait, in. Can we drink shoot an thing? episode from the? Listen, listen, man. When I tell you, I, I, I've taken pictures and gotten the locations of ten places right now. Oh yeah, we um, shoot an episode. This is something man. that that I'm really uh, I'm going hard That's the same crazy. way I went with everything else in my life. Like I'm going hard for this because I know that the community needs. Look at me, that's astonished. I'm like, <laughs> and I know this is something. This is deep. And, and trademarking and they all that's, y'all know me. I'm all. Oh, yeah, y'all, we, when I told you about flip flops and stuff, what I tell you? Handle that business and make sure that the name is yours. Make sure you ain't giving the name you away. Own that shit, so yep. things like um, I, I talked to one a friend a while ago. His name is Robert Blackwell, and it was something that he said to me. He was like, "Man, we need to um, black people need ownership." And he said this years ago to me. Okay. And I always knew that. Ivan would say things like that. Black people need to own. They need hope first. We need hope reinstilled into our community, like that hope to our, because of the gains okay, and you the said violence. That you, this is the third time you said, and I got to ask, what, 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 what do you mean we need hope? Because a lot of people say, hope. we don't need no more hope. No, no, no. We need hope like this. We, in order, before we can get to the ownership, we have things that we have to correct that black people have to correct black people on. Okay, in our own people, community. Our own community. Okay, before we, we fight the war. We have to, all the basketball players, athletes, doctors, librarians, black police, all, anybody that That's is, anybody that is doing something positive to push our culture and our people forward need to step up and they need to be speaking to the kids. You need to be doing that for free. You need to be going as many times you can. I don't care if you was an ex-drug dealer, ex-fiend, ex-whatever. If you got that ex-con, bag. Ex-con, ex-whatever. You need to step up and you need to share it with our community so we can raise our boys and our girls better. So we can protect our boys and our girls better. So that we can be better. Right? So that hope Shit. I'm talking about is that. Like, like you can easily go and say, stop all the shooting the gang members. Man, hold up. We don't need nobody from the outside telling us telling that. Telling us that, we, yeah. What we've been doing for years. My, I remember my grandmama saying, all oh, that shooting is crazy. This ain't right. I remember my mama saying, the violence that we stand on the street ain't right. And this is my mother saying that. My grandmother saying that. They are right. We don't need no shooting, no killing. Yeah, we they can were say, never wrong. You can, you can say, yes, it's because of what happened 400 years ago. I believe, I know that. When you start tracing back and going back, 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 <laughs> it's, it's going to lead right back to slavery and all of that. At the same time, it's 2020. You it's 2020. So we can't forget our past. And if we really honor in our ancestors, we wouldn't be doing it. I don't care what you say. I don't Facts. care what anyone and say. I don't care what like you I can be judged on this. And it's I'm the a- truth. If we honor in our ancestors, everybody, every black person that is, we honor in our ancestors, we cannot kill. I know we were taught this. I know that it was pushed on us. I know the media, the blah, blah, blah. But we, <laughs> Give we, it to them. But now we have black millionaires and billionaires and blah, blah, blah. There's like, we have to, what we're doing right now, we're coming together. But we have to make sure that hope is that foundation. That hope, hope is the, now is the okay. foundation. So now that hope so is that the. Every kid, when they get into, when they get to that space, they get, I got hope coming out. And now I got the support of everybody else got hope yep. and showing me I was, hope. I was, I was, and so now, now they can believe you. Okay, now we got the hope. Avenues, the youth, you already got the youth. When you start talking education, it's like, yo, some of y'all ain't going to like school, but we want you to go. And we know some of y'all may just finish high school and that's it, but we got something lined up for you. It's called entrepreneurship. <laughs> and they need to put <laughs> it in CPS. <laughs> they need to put it in CPS. That's entrepreneurship, teaching entrepreneurship just like you teach. They don't want people to not be workers. They don't want, I mean, they, they don't they want, want people everybody to be workers. They want everybody to work bees. Fact. Products but, but of see, the environment. Why you, think, why you think most people selling drugs? Because you had ownership. I don't care how you yep. slice that cake. You don't you feel, own the street. You feel that pay, ownership. But you feel that you ownership. Feel that ownership. You feel like it's yours. This I is felt. what you're doing. Hey, and, I, and, and again, this is another major chess move. I'm going to just point this out for the people because the initial question was, are we canceling white people out? He went around a long way, right? Now, let me say this to say, before we can even get to that, which already is no because... Like he's, he already said, you got to cancel bank accounts. You got to do. He already got to that. But then he, then he explained, 
Hold on. First of all, this is not that type of thing with the rhetoric where it's like, what's black on black crime? He okay. We ain't talking about that. We talking about such thing as black on black crime. I'm saying that right That's now. A fact. We, it's, we, never, it's never been a thing as black, 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 black man. They never killed the black anybody, man because he was black. They say black on black crime. I ain't hearing it. Like, yep. make sure y'all. Anybody come on the show and they say all this black on black. You better check them check right em. there. That's we a gotta fact. check that narrative because that, that, that's not. Check it in the that dough. ain't it. No, okay, so let me say this. I learned that one. And you know somebody that said that to me. You know somebody said that to me a long time ago. I even said that years ago. Then Tanja slid through. Tanja, you know Tanja, that's my heart too. Tanja slid through with the, man, ain't no black on black crime. Highly educated. Got her degree in her masters. You T-Baby. know what I'm saying? These are people around, see black you, people around me who, who educated. You know what I'm saying? They don't play that. They, that fed off on me and I looked into it. I researched. That's you know what I'm saying? Hey, so, Shami, so, why they think we don't play? Because it rubbed off on us, man. Hmm. So He don't play. That. He don't so, know. So, fellas, when I think of, when you say chess moves, we all play chess. Black people have been playing chess through for this a long racism time. forever. I'm so happy you... What is the forever. color on the chessboard? Black and white. Black been and playing, white. Been so are we not playing together, no? Black and uh, white. Well, we have to play together. Listen, listen. I'm on this. So I'm into building bridges. I'm okay. into bringing people Ooh. together. I'm into bringing people together Black to, to um, build. Because the truth is, I want to see the west side where I'm from. I want to see the entire west side... Just like how I see downtown, mm. like where I live, like like you know, I want to see it just like if, if not even better, mm. you know, where you got sushi restaurants and 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 all these amazing things Diverse that are black things. owned, that are black owned. But when you go to Chinatown, you see a certain thing. When yes, you go sir. to to the Jewish community, they have a certain thing. The Indian community, everybody has a certain thing. So when when black people establish that. Like as we as we go on this journey and establish that and get it prepared, because check this out, I won't be alive to see it. First of all, like it's a fact. Like like I, I, I know the, this. The but real I, but I, real change is gonna be this after is an we long ago. This is an investment in my people, right? You so put I it on know the line. that if, when you put, something, put when you do an investment, it takes time. You have to be patient and slow and steady. That was told to me by somebody. Slow and steady. Guy by the name of to Craig Bonnie told me slow and steady, and I take that to heart. So it's gonna take time. So my kids, kids. I gonna have the best life they ever lived. That day gonna come where Madison and all the way down from Western all the way down to Austin. Look it's like nothing downtown. but night yet, and it's nothing it's but different. black owned businesses that are that are doing well, and and the the, do, the black dollars being in, it's in the community and it's flourishing. We got good education. I'm believing that's gonna happen. At the in the same breath, I want to have these invisible bridges, and for the people that don't want to cross the bridge. Mm. Don't cross the bridge. If you, feel you, you just want to be around your people and you, you don't want you don't want none of that, I respect to that. As a black man, I have to respect that That's opinion. If you gay and you feel like you don't want to be over there with straight people, you want to just I respect that. I respect yeah. it. So But there will be a bridge. There will be there a bridge. There will yeah. be a bridge. Listen, it's gonna come anyway. It's gonna, we 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 we're, we're four hundred plus years later where black people have had children Too late. people that are not a black, right? So you have family. Now that's your family now. When you say you're willing to die for your family, is that just three or four of us or is that all of us? Everybody. So if I'm a black Ooh. person, I got a white child, you're supposed to love me as a black man or a black woman and still say, hey, they black, yes, period. Black. And we period. love you and everything that come with you. So I'm looking for that day. I'm fighting for, I'm investing in my people. I'm investing in my people as I as I always did, even as a kid, trying to make some. It ain't about making it out of the community. I want to change that language too. It's not about I made it out. No, my heart and my spirit was Man, still he, there. My family, my friends. These jails. Somebody make got it sh- out. Got shot on Independence and in, um, Congress right at the Maxwell Place. I found that out a couple days ago. Doing that during the Father's Day weekend was just so so man. My, every time I hear that, my soul died. My a part of me is is pierced. Yeah, you sent me the kid, the kid that man. I want to get it right because I don't. I, a part of me is. I want to get it right. Has been pierced every time. Right. A part of me is being pierced every time I hear it. So, if I had black people I could go to that had millions and billions of dollars, and I could go to them and say, "Yo, I need give me twenty million. To, so that I can create this. It, it, this listen, deal. And if it don't work, I'm going to try the next thing. Lawnmowers and snowblowers. I was going yep, to that earlier. Lawnmowers it. and snowmowers. Yep, let's snowblowers. get it. Snowblowers. Well, we teaching the youth how to do landscaping. Set them up with their own bank account. Come on, man. Set them up with their bank and, account. And Give and them the materials sure that they, they need. Like some, teaching the real them black grassroots stuff right here. Yeah, grassroots. Growing uh, up. Going door to door where in the wintertime, since everybody ain't got a garage, you snowing, you 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 uh, plowing the snow for them and giving them a cone with a number Come and on, you bro. take track of each, each each family and house that you go to to generate money. If you but had you 14 you, years old, 13 if you had years you old, with 17 all that, years old getting it. 
If you had you with all that, and then you had another guy that's just like you who had blows, rocks and blows, I would choose that. As a kid, if I had the option, I wouldn't want to jump straight into the yeah. street. Yeah. No, you give an option. It's called opportunity. Opportunity. Now, the you thing was that giving we have it to you're giving do, it back. The thing that I have, I had to do, and that we have to do, is we have to put action into it. We have to do it. You gotta just do it. Execution. That's right? it. So for me, man, Mom Pa's Corner Store, y'all heard it here first. I've been working Woo! on that straight up, straight down. I got a lot of people working with me, and everybody's not black, but the people that are going to own it will they be know black. Will be black. So, they we, will so be creating black. So creating those, like I said, those bridges will be there, and people don't want to go around across the bridge. So I ain't mad it. at you. I ain't going to judge you. I understand. I we get it. We love you either way. But don't, but don't look at me funny when I, go, when I go across the bridge, and I'm doing business, and I'm building, because tell me this. Riddle me this, talk y'all. To me. Hold on, talk to so me. when people are playing sports and doing music and they're doing it for Universal or Apple or any of those labels, are they? Isn't that building a bridge? Isn't that working with somebody else that's mm-hmm. that's of a different color? Mm-hmm. Okay, all those people, that, all those militant people that put stuff on Facebook and on Live and all of that. Who owns Facebook, y'all? Um, when we talk about black that, so, man, I'm just, so I'm just saying this because I'm passionate person, about my people. I'm passionate about my what spirit. I'm do. passionate about entrepreneurship, hope, love, and, and trying to be better. That's all I can do. So, so black chest. people, I'm saying this to y'all. I really mean this. What camera do I right, need to like, look at? Right in the middle one. Come black on, y'all. People, we are powerful. There's nothing we can't do. I know I'm living proof of it. Mm. I'm not perfect. Yep. I'm exactly as I am. And all I can, all I can ever do is be my very best. To see my cousin doing this show, Flip Flops and Socks, man, is, is it, I'm so proud of you, man. Shambi, I'm so proud appreciate of you, it, man. man. Thanks, I'm really man. proud we of y'all. Like, and we appreciate see, you coming out. To see y'all doing this, taking the time to really make this as professional as possible, to get, from, from your logos to everything, and it feels good to be here to talk about this and man, to be able to talk it, straight, appreciate appreciate straight up and, and, and talk open. And that's real. So, so what y'all don't know, I don't know if y'all know this about these two guys. These guys are some amazing lyricists, too. It started off yeah, yeah, yeah. there. They yeah, really yeah, dandy yeah. with the pen, it. and it's still in y'all. You can always write for people. You can yes, always sir. write right. and tell That's your story. A fact. That's a um, fact. I, I say this to all, all, all my people who I love with every inch of my spirit. I was going to ask for that last statement to tell me if you could give them one statement. No, it ain't going to even be one statement because I ain't selling my people out like that. Give them as many as, they, as you think you they need. You see the hat? It's know your genius, work to be unstoppable, own your actions and explore the world. And I, it's the theory. It's my theory of change, and it, all of us have got quo in us. Um, I would tell people this: dream big, always. Never give up, and always give back. That's what I would say to black people. That's what I would say. Hold to on, y'all. wait, wait, wait. Jewels, give, it, give, them a, give it to jewels, them again. Wait, hold jewels. on. These are jewels. And, and he's he's saying giving. Jewels. He's saying jewels. He's not saying Jews. <laughs> like he's gems, saying no, jewels, no, like gems, 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 and gems, jewels, and jewels, and, jewels and such. Jewels. Jewels. Okay, he's dropping jewels. real jewels right now. So can gems, you please give it to him gems. one more time? He's dropping gems. Can you please give it to him one more time? So I'm gonna say it like I said to all the black people out there. I'm telling y'all, it's three things: dream big, mm-hmm. never give up, and always give back. That's what we have to do. That's what we have to do right now, and we must love unconditionally. That's a fact. That's it. As you are, man. As you are. That's so this episode, we talked about episode- and the churches too. I gotta say this. All the oh, come church on, come people, on. All, all my church people that's in church. Come to the streets. Because dealing from the inside we of the church, you. thinking that you knowing what's going on without dealing with the man, people. Come to the streets, man. It ain't going to work. We, we, we let me tell y'all. Work. We need y'all. The people that's outside of the church judge the people that's inside. The people that's inside judge the people that's outside. That's all come together because we definitely need y'all. We need y'all. And that's a fact. Cause this this a real cause because when you think about like even the COVID stuff, not to like to go to that, but when you think about the COVID stuff, man, we was on lockdown. We was on lockdown for a long time. You felt like you you didn't you didn't know what to go. You didn't know yep. how you was gonna pay yep. your bills. You didn't know like if you was gonna have health insurance, a job, or if you was gonna live. And through this COVID nineteen thing, man, I lost a few people, man, really close to me, man, family, lost and non COVID related. My son said something to me because he lost his girlfriend April fifteenth of this year. That was the first death we had outside of Kobe. It yep. was Kobe first. And during that during that meeting, RP yes, yes, Kobe man, RP yes. We were in a meeting when, when Kobe died. We were in a meeting at Flow Entertainment, yep. with all the dancers and everybody. And I said to everybody, I said, you know, before we found out Kobe died, I was saying, yo, we don't know when one of us in this room is going to leave. We got to give our very best and be the best. I like to he give was literally pep saying talks to my entire company. And we sitting there. And then my son yells out, oh, my goodness, Kobe is dead. Kobe, Kobe did. just died. 
everybody in the room, people crying, people like, you know, emotion, like, like Me, can't like believe a baby. it. Like, remember, we was just all just like in the I space. I was weeping like a baby, man. Like, like, like blown man. away by it. And, and to, to know that, I just said that and we lost COVID. It was like, whoa. And then fast forward, we stuck in the house. In March, we stuck in the crib. Then April 15th, my son loses his, his girlfriend, not to COVID, to a freak, freak accident. It's crazy. And then you realize, and we in the house, this is real, this is getting real. And you're like, life is too short. My son said to me, Dad, we got an invisible clock over our head that's ticking. That's a fact. And one day it's, the alarm is going to go off and our life is going to be over. And, and that has stuck with me. And then you fast forward, I lost my brother-in-law who got stabbed on the day of the, the, the protesting and stuff. Lost his life, non-COVID related, non-gang lady. He was working his job and it happened to him. You know, may he rest and may Kenneth rest in peace. Rest in then peace. That, then that is, today, this morning, this morning, you know, today, Kahari Parker, the drummer, I get a call from Rich and Ivan. I get a text from them. 9.36 in the morning saying that Kahari Parker passed away in his sleep. I and this is a healthy brother. I not to Kahari Parker, dang. So, so, so think about this. Life is, is, is too short, y'all. Life is really short. He's only 46. Life is short. And we as a people, it's our time. It's our time. And we can't let the very same thing that we're fighting bring us down and stop us from our true genius. And that is a fact. I told y'all, he's a motivator. He's an innovator. He's an entrepreneur. And this guy dropped so many jewels and gems and rubies and whatever you want to call them but, on this episode, man. Man, I appreciate that. But y'all know what? Talk to me. It's not me. It's not me. Who is it, man? It's it, God. It, it started with it's you. God. It's my spirit. It's That's God speaking through my spirit. It ain't me. I ain't going to sit up here and take credit for nothing I said. That's all God. That's the, my spirit. Um, and well, it's thank your him for spirit. sending you. <laughs> no, it, no, it's your spirit. It's your spirit. It's us sitting here together. The only way you can create, if you notice, together, I said together. Together. The only reason we're able to create this environment is together. Because I could be sitting in this room by myself and it'll stay inside of me, right? But the fact we're sitting here, we're sitting in front of the camera. Even creating the dialogue. People, yeah. It's, it's going Coming out. together, sharing that energy, being on one and, accord. And, and I, don't, I don't mind being hated. I don't mind being Woo. talked about. I don't mind He'll none walk of that. Through the fire. Cause when my clock go off, eh, 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 none of that's gonna matter. None of that's gonna matter. And we don't mind walking through the fire either. Let me tell you something. We we be in hot water all the time, but it don't matter. Cause let me tell you something. It's all done from a place of, of love. love. Yes, sir. And I'll tell you what, Kareem Cole Wells, we appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Love y'all, we man. appreciate you, man. Love you, man. Love we brothers, love you, man. man. Thank you, man. All, every black you man, you make sure you tell man. another black man that you love him today, man. Cause you know you do. Your homies, you love them. Yes, you know sir. you do. You knew them for 10 plus years, 20 plus years. You know them. You love them. So with that being said, man, we'd like to thank y'all for joining us on another episode uh, of Flip, Flops, and Socks, man. Episode 12 in the books. Yes, Kareem sir. Quo Wells came through and dropped gems. We didn't, look, this is the easiest. We ha- Look, we ever had it. We, we had to tell about our No, we didn't, we didn't have to open up the, to the sc- confessions of a scum. All we had to do was sit down. And be the sponge that this man has been his whole life. So we tell y'all again. We thank you, Kareem, for coming. Thank you, man. Quo, what you want? What you want to call you? Quo or Kareem? What you want? Man, call, call you whatever Kareem, we call man. you, right? Just Kareem. Yeah. <laughs> Kareem, Kareem it is. So again, I'm your boy Paris. I'm your boy Tashambi. And we out. Later.